<laughs> Thank you, Chuck. And welcome. Let me just do that. No, quickly do that. And uh, what am I going to say? Let's go do some more adventure roulette. Yep, there we go. Oliver, hello. No, okay, goodbye. So yeah, how are you doing today, Chuck? By the way, thank you again for what you've been doing. I honestly thought, uh, give me a second, I'm just getting a blanket, I'm really cold. I honestly thought that uh, what you've been doing with the whole custom, uh, what's it, custom elements you called it? I thought that'd be so much more work, which is why I never asked for it, but I'm very grateful you've been doing it. Thank you. Hello, Gabby. Glass and arrow. Welcome. Yeet. Fucking yeet. Hello, Flame. All right, bear with me. I'm just, uh, it's really cold. And I still can't wear jumpers yet. So I'm just wrapping myself in a blanket because blankets are so comfy. Okay, glass, no worries at all. I understand. Hello, you chicken nugget. <laughs> First, more like seventh, but welcome. Oh, thank you, glass. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good rest. Oh, it was lovely seeing you. Oh, God, it's actually really cold. What the hell? <laughs> it's it shouldn't be this cold i wasn't this cold just a second ago i swear hey yasaki welcome as well i'm just going to ha, ha, pat my cup of tea i'll tell you guys what one of the best things to do if you're really cold is if you've got like a hot drink just like don't grab onto the mug but kind of like pat it i don't know that sounds really stupid but like just ha just hold the mug long enough for a bit of heat to kick into your hands without burning yourself to let go before you burn. And just keep doing that repeatedly and oh my god, it transfers so much heat. Ah, it's lovely. It hurts, but it's lovely. <laughs> Hello, Liscomato. Welcome as well. Oh god. Cold. Cold, cold, cold. But yes, no, it was. It was meltingly hot just a couple of days ago. Like last week, we just had like a very sudden heat wave. Uh, let me see, what is the temperature now? According to my phone. So last week it randomly hit 30, 30 degrees Celsius. Now it's 16 degrees Celsius, so it's literally half the temperature. Yes. Ah. <gasps> Gee, why hello there, Gee. Uh, put the heater on. No, I'm... So I can't wear jumpers for a personal reason right now. Uh, let's just say that it causes me issues medically. Anyway, moving on. Uh, otherwise, the heater... Well, I wasn't this cold just 10 seconds ago. <laughs> and additionally, I tend to get cold uh, a lot quicker than Kev does. So if I turn on the heater, it might bother him. And Kev's, Kev's a man. He's a big manly man. He's a lot better at retaining heat than I am. I am frail, feminine woman. That made no sense. Hello, Myrtle and Sommy. Welcome, both of you. Okay, feels good. Just warming up now. And to be fair, in all fairness, it does give people a chance to come tune in before I get started. <laughs> An electric throw, nice one. Oh, okay then. You always get cold really quickly. Your mum will walk into your room and be like, what the fuck, why is there a woman here? And open a window and I'm then I fucking die. <laughs> relatable. God, absolutely relatable. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I like I said, I just lose temperature really quickly. Well, that's the thing, Rose. It's only the lower half of me that's cold right now, which is perfect uh, blanket area. But the upper half of me is completely fine, except my hands. But now my hands are good because I'm cupping tea. Oh God, Gee, that's horrible. Then again, you are you're in Brazil, aren't you? I know you're pretty pretty sure you're in Brazil. It makes sense for that area to be hot. But mate, I'm, mate, I'm English. Dude, it's, it's what we Brits do. We complain about weather all the time. It's like a British pastime is complaining about the weather. Like, it's a default qu question, right? Where you ask, like, oh, how's the weather? How's the weather today? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's shit. You know, it's all dark and gloomy. 
But then if it was hot, we'd complain as well. If it was cold, we'd complain. <laughs> and it's just, it's just a British way of life. Ask Kev, ask Doom, ask anyone. <laughs> we all just bitch and complain. Hello, Kitsune. 35 degrees Celsius at its highest. Blech. Mate, you can, you can keep that, my friend. Sami, you have a radiator in your room and also an AC and your body's extremely dumb and will go between Oh god, I'm being cooked alive and I'm freezing to death all the time. You just alternate between the radiator and the AC. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Well, saying now, we just put the AC away. Because it's, you know, it's finally becoming winter again. The heat wave is finished and it's returned to winter. But I am right next to the radiator. It's just, like I said, I don't want to turn it on because it will affect the entire house. <laughs> it's a perfect temperature for a spa. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm nearly warm. I'm nearly good to go. You love burning? Well, fair. I like burning my hands. Does that count? I like burning in a shower. But I do not like cooking. See, I like I like burn, but I don't like cook. And hot weather cooks you. <laughs> right, gonna have a bit of my tea. Meat. Mm. Gee, crazy mofo. And that actually happened. The sound happened on time. Gee, thank you for the gift of service. It's a puzzle quest to Mavista. To, to how do I say that one? That name. Paka, hold on, Paka, pa I can't even say that. It's a really cool name, I want to say it. Paka Tumpa Paka Tum, I think, Frost Dragon and finally, congratulations to all of you. Again, Guy, thank you very, very much. The meat is no longer special, it's actually on time. It is, <gasps> mate. Meat. I got appropriately jump scared by the meat for once. <laughs> you would like the cold, but the cold allows cuddles or hot, ch uh, hot chocolate. Yeah, exactly. No, I get, I get what you're saying there, Metal. <gasps> the Matrix. Man, that was really fun watching The Matrix last night. I really enjoyed that. Need to watch the rest of them. Right, I am going to... Uh, give me a second, because I do have this. Actually, no, I need to pick an adventure first. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a really good adventure become what they see that's a really really good one and therefore we are not playing it so that'll take like an hour to finish there we go so while that's doing its thing i'm gonna quickly re-enable that and then i'm going to mute there we go that's <laughs> that's one thing i really should have done between um now and yesterday i really should have gone and Cleanse all the finish not cleanse that's the wrong word purged let me just um so who are the three finish people again it is Liskamato, benji and someone whose name begins with an m i think mika that's it i'm just gonna quickly take a moment and just do a quick little purge so i think the most common letter i see in the finish language is that for my adventures and we'll just grab that uh oh that's not right that did not work at all give me a second okay we want this copy oh it doesn't work damn it anything from before 2014 okay then in that case i'll just do it that way actually thank you so in that case, we'll just go down to 2014, 2013. God, there's so many adventures. There's so many. And we'll just grab yeah, that one there. Oh my god, no wonder why there's so many appearing. Holy shit. <laughs> Give me a second. How many is there? And Saga, welcome as well. You're late, but you've not missed anything. How many is that selected? It doesn't actually say anywhere, does it? Well, a lot. We're at 14,000... No, we're at 878. It might crash. Normally, you can you can delete adventures safely and it won't crash the game, but I, I did have the game running all night. So I may have crashed it anyway. Or 
it might just take a while. 878. Yeah, I think 600 seems to be about a good guess, actually. <laughs> no wonder I've been getting so many Finnish adventures. God damn it. All right, well... You, you know what this calls for. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, may, may as well. <laughs> may as well. The game where deleting creations can delete Spore's ability to crash to not crash as well. True. God. And Guy, my friend, I'm sorry. If it's my fault, I'm sorry. It's like Spore Roulette, where whenever you use the delete button, it crash or not. That is true. Yes, I have a cookie dragon now, by the way. I have Crumblor, and I've got Flying Reindeers, because that's normal. I have Crumblor, the Cookie Dragon, and my game... Hey, it worked! Uh, so, yep, it was about 660 creations. Uh, sorry, adventures. Imagine being able to make that many adventures. God. The last time I drank water, uh, this morning, however, thank you for the reminder, I'm going to have some now, actually. There we go. At some point, I have to get myself a water bottle. Adventure roulette, but the delete key is the gun. <laughs> True. Right, so. Uh, Benjamin is another one. Oh, that's a cute little thumbnail there. So for Benjamin, I'm just going to scroll down. And while I'm doing this, let's go, Mato, what would you say is a good benchmark? for yours in terms of like date year excuse me oh that's a good idea actually yeah okay that's a good idea regarding the whole uh sport casting thank you some of these are english but some of these are finnish i gotta say it's such a funny unusual problem Oh god, are you guys, are you guys ruleting while well, I'm ruleting? And Lisk, okay, fair enough then. Well, we've already purged 600. I'm sure that is already, you know, a good start. <laughs> Let me just quickly grab or get to a point. Let's get to, say, I don't know, here. And we'll just delete all this. Mag! Give me one moment, Mag. What have thou said? Thou, thy, thee, thee? Or oh, end of 2014? Okay, then in that case, uh, what did I just select? Give me one moment. So from 2014, I can't see the one I selected. That's typical. 2014, 2014, 2013. Oh, actually, that's about right. Oh, I kind of winged it. I was just barely off. There we go. In fact, yeah, I think I was on the right track there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And delete. That's going to be another couple of hundred. Mag, hello, you wonderfully gorgeous fuckheads. First place winners of the interdimensional beauty contest held at the Orange Gap Plane at Wally Wart. How are your epic BAMFs doing in this time of Japawaki beauty with a gibbering finish, fi finish fishing for your favourite flavour of Unami box phone leather? Hello. Tried a little bit too hard at the end there, didn't I? I think I did. <laughs> did you bring finish, finish fishing? God damn. There we go. Okay, we, we should we should be safe now. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Mission 47, can't play that. I swear, watch me still get one anyway. <laughs> watch me get like a German one. Oh, how to get a for oh no, I can't watch do that one either. Damn it. Well meanwhile, cup of tea. Mm. By the way, uh, template. We'll, we'll have a look at the template. I want to check out the templates. I know they're not really stories, but it's still nice seeing what people can do regardless. I was going to say, I am sorry for starting the stream so late today. Now, I'm going to be enti entirely honest. The reason why the stream started so late is because Kev and I will focus on Cookie Clicker. Cookie -click excuse me. Uh, that is the absolute truth. <laughs> so... You know, sorry. Uh, cool. Got that. So, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it will kind of focus on that spool of cookies, exactly. Hi, Kev. You see, that's like an entire ascension system, which for any of you guys who know what it is, you know what it is, but if you don't, it's like basically you're reborn, but you're reborn with like a giant multiplier, like it kind of applies all of your efforts and your previous campaign to the next one. And yes, there are campaigns in Cookie Clicker. And uh, let's just say that <laughs> we spend a couple of hours today just messing around with it. Yes, it's on Steam. I'm using the Steam version. It's weirdly fun. Right, so. Here we have a spaceship. So I think I just saw it in the description. It seems to be another foreign one, but it's at least, you know, understandable enough. And I just saw it say that this is meant to be like based on ancient Egypt or something. So again, no story here. Just check it out. And uh, yeah, it's only £4. It's not a game I'd recommend. It's a good time waster. It's not exactly something amazing, you know. It's not like a great riveting experience, but it is a dopamine rush. <laughs> Especially if you're like me, you like achievements. I mean, hey, look at this. I've got 239 out of 532 achievements. If you're on achievement sluts like I am, you'll enjoy it. But if you're actually looking for a compelling gameplay, I would not recommend it. Make cookie and spare. I'll make cookies for. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gee, I thought you were like me, me for a second there. <laughs> that took me a moment. You know, I am actually looking forward to. Um, looking forward to. I'm actually thinking about making crumble. Make crumble. Crumble the cookie dragon. Right then. Oh, no, Mag. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, that's a pain. 91 hours recently played oh god by the way can i just say this area is pretty cool uh this entire like little templatey area this is actually something i kind of like so bit of a you know bit of a random segue but uh in regards to like all these adventure templates that you see people doing when they do like these pre-made environments they're always very minimal i find like yeah they show like a really amazing temple or like a really amazing singular village or whatever this one's really cool actually because you can make a proper adventure in this one this is a really good template that you can actually work with and make something from <gasps> axel hello welcome welcome <laughs> so I get, well i think there's one achievement from the game that you'll all appreciate and i'll show you that in a moment when i'm done just checking out this area Oh, those are pretty cool statues right there. Hmm. And yeah, me too, Saki. Use little trees to make all the bushes and such, especially like in these old, uh, what would you call it, like pits, I guess, down there. A lot of the previous ones we've seen, like, yeah, here you go. It's just really nice. There's like a bit of foliage growing down there as well. You can tell the person definitely put a bit of thought as to where, crypt, thank you, uh, where the person thought about where everything would go. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Now I'm in a giant cave or crypt. Interesting. And that's it. I mean, that's actually, that's cool. I like this. Like I said, you could definitely turn this into a story and like make it your own thing. That's a really nice little template actually. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Oh no. <laughs> right, so I really want to see who made it. But I think we can all agree that it's a bad idea. It's going to keep on making me crash. So unfortunately... Oh, but I want to see who made it, though. Okay, just this one time. It was by Iron Syro. That makes sense. Iron Syro is the guy... Oh, it didn't crash. Iron Syro is the guy who made the floating island. I showcased a video a long time ago. Makes sense he did it, actually. He's very, very good at uh, like environments. Uh, speaking of achievements, the one I was going to mention... Give me a second. There's one achievement I know a lot of you would appreciate. Give me a second. Oi. Okay, it's uh kind of gone off the edge. So <laughs> let me look at it in a different way. Oh, there it is. 
There's really no hard limit to how long these achievement names can be, and to be quite honest, I'm rather curious to see how far we can go. Adolphus W. Green, 1844-1917, started as the principal of the Golden School in 1864. By 1865, he became school assistant librarian, uh, second assistant librarian, at the New York Mercantile. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, how's your day been? That is actually one of the achievements in the game. I got that earlier. That's for baking 10 sextillion cookies per second. <laughs> I've definitely come to appreciate this game. This, the guy's got a sense of humor, I like it. Yeah, it's good. How many? There's 532 achievements in total. I've gotten 230, I'm 45% of the way done. And uh, also, Chicken Nugget, I've played Diablo 3. I used to play a lot of it. Uh, Kev plays a lot of it now, still. So, <laughs> that's that then for you. Hey, Gee. Oh, Mechanical Menace. An adventure that is English and actually sounds like it could be a thing. Yes, Gee, I have. I love the news at the top. Oh, really, Asaki? Right, so, Mechanical Menace. Save the last Makula tribe from the threat of self replicated machine invaders. Uh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Right then, well, we'll just wait and. Oh, here we go. We finally get to do a bit of spore. <laughs> like how I, while I'm rouletting, you guys are rouletting as well. Yes, Gee! Oh, Valheim updates in two days! Hey! Oh shit, that, you just made me think of something. So, here's a fun little, it's a fun little like FYI for you guys. So, the Valheim update is on the 16th, it's on Thursday. On Thursday is also the latest, uh, the Burning Crusade patch for World of Warcraft. So like classic DPC, which Kev and I are really deep into at the moment. And my guild is looking to raid four to five days a week. So you can imagine how I've been sitting there thinking like, oh, oh, it's on 20th. Wait, is it actually on 20th? Oh, no, you'll be off traveling. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Key. Oh, at least you have a good time with your family. But um, I was going to say, though, so the latest TBC patch releases at the same day as the Valheim update. So I've been sitting there thinking like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to play at all because we're going to be raiding a ton in WoW. I'm probably going to be um, ending a couple of streams early for the next week. Maybe. Hopefully not. And uh, turns out I'm fucking benched. <laughs> I'm, uh, we've got two raid groups and I'm benched in one of them. Rip. So, hey, let's get to play Valheim. Uh, server. I am thinking about doing another server. I did do a Valheim server before. It went quite nicely. Uh, the only downside, so one major downside to a public Valheim server, a public sub whatever, is that, as soon as someone defeats a boss, it unlocks that boss's raids of the entire server. So, having veterans and newbies on the same server is catastrophic. That being said, I might just say fuck it and let people play anyway. Uh, we did learn that the hard way in the previous servers, but I might just do another one anyway and just let people have fun. A favourite kind of tea? PG tips. Uh, if you have to ask Doom, that is called PG Shits. Uh, it is a common builder's tea, and I absolutely love it. I've tried Earl Grey before. It tasted like perfume, and I hated it, but I've been told I got a bad brand. Right, I'm going to finish my tea, and then we're going to actually, you know, play the adventure. <laughs> Valheim server pause champ. Yeah, I'm, I might do a server anyway, actually. I think it will be just fun, wouldn't it? Give people a chance to play together again. Right, finishing my tea. Is a blend not a brand? Oh. Maybe I got the wrong blender then. I don't know. It was uh it was Dad's wife. She just insisted I have some blend of old grey and it was God, it was vile. It was so foul. What would happen to the stream if you did a roulette and move on shoot you? Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. 
Can I do it again? Maybe I'm immune. It says like rainbows and child abuse <laughs> kind of did. Oh, the revolver malfunctions. I have miraculously lived to survive the roulette. I guess that's what happens then. I guess it just makes me immune to it. <laughs> Kev, I love how accurate that description is. The uh, she really did give me an old grain and tasted like rainbows and child abuse. <laughs> Fucking horrible woman. Streamer luck. <laughs> right. That is my tea completed. <gasps> oh no, Kev. <gasps> Kev too has survived. Kev is immortal. Pock tea. Right, that's plenty of adventure. <laughs> I'm getting too distracted. Although, saying that, I do want to give myself a reminder about the Valheim. I think I will do a server. Why not? I, I overthink things too much. It'd be fun to have a server. Fuck it, why not? Valheim server, I will config configure that hopefully tonight. If I remember. We'll see. Right. Oh, saw me. So, we are at... I've already forgotten the name of this adventure. It's something, it's like robot malfunction, I think. A strange nonsensical distress signal came from a world nearly devoid of life and it's up to you to investigate. A nonsensical distress signal. Interesting. Oh no, saw me. Someone from this, uh, someone from this empty world sent a distress signal. Final transmitter and discover who sent the message. I feel like I've done this before, actually. I recognise this. Welcome, Star Hero. I'm Makumba, chief of the chief of the last Makula tribe. I have used a holy summoning magic totem to send a desperate plea, a desperate plea for the Star Fog's help. The magic totem, oh, destined yeah, yeah. to be used only in the tribe's darkest time, was a gift from our star god friend, Er uh, Zenu. Alright. Oh, I can never manage to speak the god's full name. Zoologist, I'm embarrassing myself in front of the star hero. It is crucial to our tribe's survival that you help our latest... Uh, sorry. It is crucial to our tribe's survival that you help our last two warriors, led by Prince Karimba, to defeat the metal demons that came from the sky. Hello. I am Makumba. This isn't a summoning totem, it's a hyperspace transmitter. I kinda guessed that one. Forgive our angry faces, Star Hero. We can't remain happy in the face of certain doom. That's understandable. Right, so we'll talk to Karimba, the warrior prince. I love these names. I absolutely love these names, Makumba. I'm sure Kev loves them as well, actually. Hello, Karimba. The warrior prince. Can I just say they actually look really cool? I do like the uh, masks. Oh look at that, Oh no, Sonny, I just saw what you said. No. Right. Um, I ran to the Star Fog. They heard our plea and sent a warrior to aid the Makula tribe. You see that strange stone? It fell thundering from the sky last night and brought a star demon made of metal in its belly. The thing crawled and ticked and wobbled around, gathering stone and crystals, and built a totem overnight so it could spray, so it could pray to its evil star gods. And then the totem began spewing little star demons, and any Makula who tried to approach it, even some of our finest warriors, fell a victim to this foul star sorcery. Star sorcery, I like it. We're the last warriors of the tribe, and we will help you banish all the demons. Our spears may not dent their armor, but we can keep them occupied. I'm very impressed how um, tribal dudes can like speak, you know, another language like this. How you know we can communicate quite clearly. <laughs> Gather all your courage, hero, and face the strange mechanical invaders that threaten the last Mukula tribe and destroy all the machines. I feel like I've played this one before. Hey, do you wanna like? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Sh uh, mate, do you wanna attack? Um, Solar. What are, you, what are you doing? Do you wanna... Sure. Swarm it. Okay then. There we go. Alright. <laughs> that one worked. Oh my god, this is a bit flashy and noisy. Let me just turn the volume down a little bit. So does having a staring contest. He wants one to do. 
Just sat there, just staring like just T posing with dominance. Hello, Imperfect. Welcome, by the way. Right, we'll destroy that one. Nope, we're having another staring contest. Oi, bam. Bloody hell, this is a bit annoying, isn't it? Go ahead and kill that one. He failed his intimidation roll, true. Ah! I think in this point it's just easy just to tap target. It's a little bit cheesy, but he is always actually doing a very good job of uh, you know, close melee combat, so I'll just let him target himself. Whee. Yeah, tap targeting's already going better. Imagine that! You know what I just noticed? Oh no, Kev, are you still here? Spore has better tap targeting than World of Warcraft does. That's just sad. Oh, hello. <gasps> Katsune! I'm sad it won't let my last name on the alert be Bitch Magic. Wait, it won't? That's surprising. Oh, Katsune, thank you though. Thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate that. And Kev, yeah, which is <laughs> wow, which is exceptionally bad, isn't it? Well, this is a rather um, invigorating adventure. Yeah, well, just keep on, uh, just keep on enduring all this sort of flashing aids. Hello, Astra. Let's see. Uh, so, chicken nuggets. Uh, whenever I host servers, I open them all to uh, subs and gifted subs. You are a gifted sub, which means that you can just join outright. Now the tricky thing is, is that I normally have on Discord and I know that you already can't go on Discord. So I think I'll have to um, probably message you on Twitch at some point when, when I've got it available. And should I message you out right the details. But uh, yeah, as a gift of sir, you get to join the service for free. Congratulations. And this is why Mag is such an amazing person. And Geek for that matter. <laughs> I remember you giving five subs just earlier. Can you please stop the staring contests? And Meg, wait. Wait, where's he? Daily Dose of Anxiety. Hello? It delayed. Well, Meg, thank you very much for the Daily Dose of Anxiety. I'm sorry that the bloody alert decided to lag out. Stupid thing. But thank you. I know, the, the drones here, like, this is just ridiculous. The amount of flashing here. This is absolutely ridiculous. Come on! Oh, what it cost me? Oh, oh, bless you. Um, well, how much does it cost actually? Okay, this is AIDS. Right, I actually need to just take a moment to regenerate some um, energy. So while I'm getting some more energy, how much does it actually cost? I think it's like thirty pounds. Oh, I wonder. Are they still capped at ten players per server? Uh, that I need to look up. So assuming I'm logged out, I can't find out. I think it's like £30 for a 10 uh, slot server for a month. Last time, Valheim was capped at 10 slots. So I need to find out and see if that's still the case. Why well, is there a meet notification though? Why not? Um, it's a it's a very old uh, in-joke and it's been there for like two years now. <laughs> it's an in-joke that's like kind of gone crazy over time. Am I even making progress here? I don't feel like I am anymore. Oh! Well, that'd be why then. Uh, turns out I was too busy killing the respawns, not focusing on the actual pillars all around. Uh, so, that took care of that annoying shield that was protecting the mother machine. Now get rid of all the machine or all the mechanical invaders. Oh my god, the amount of flashing. Jesus. Wait. Me! Ah! Hey, Meg! Thank you for the gift of sub to Imperfect! I like how the meat sound works immediately, but the donation sound is lagged out. Typical, isn't it? Uh, something. If that was a theoretical coat of arms on the DT channel, what creature would be on the center shield of coat of arms that isn't a Jowie? Coat of arms? I feel like Dragon would be the obvious choice. Because it's, it's me, I've made a ton of dragons. 
But I actually prefer griffins. It kills me a tiger. Or a lion. I love tigers. I don't know actually, that's a really good question. There we go. The red dragon, tiger griffin. Hmm. Hold on, this is getting like a bit crazy the amount of like flashing. Yeah, it was Mag. I'm sorry it was delayed. This is so loud. I know, this is a horrible adventure, isn't it? This is so obnoxious. I'm just going to pause for a second because it was getting a bit much, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, for the coat of arms, I think a dragon would be the most fitting. Especially as I'm British, you know, and I'm, I'm not Welsh by the slightest, but you do have like the red dragon on the Welsh flag. I don't know, I think that'd be like fitting as a dragon. Yeah, I, I really hate adventures like this. They're so obnoxious. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit more. Right, so what do we have to do then? Uh, now, there's no mother, no mother, now that there's no mother machine to produce more robots, you can get rid of the remaining invaders. So I need to just quickly kill the last couple. We're going to go zerg them quickly. So yes, if you ever plan on making adventures, don't do this. Just, just don't do this. Right, kill that one. Let's get this over with. Kill that one. Bloody hell. Well, now I'm out of energy, so I can't actually finish killing them just yet. There you go. Just have an insect swarm. I know you're a robot. It doesn't matter. I just get killed by an insect swarm anyway. Aw, Chicken Nugget. That's adorable. Alright, swarm that one again. Cool. Kill that one. How are you alive on 1 HP? You're absolute a-hole. Hello? Come on. Bloody hell. Our last one. Who's all the way over here for some strange reason. God, that was horrible. The next time we get an adventure like that, I think I'll just mute it immediately. That was just really horrible. Sorry about that one. So, you did it! You saved the last Makula tribe from a gruesome fate and the metallic claws of the mechanical invaders. It's a good idea making adventures as like chapters. Uh, oh, it's Parker Boy. Parker Boy, come on, you're better than that! Bruh! I'm not gonna rate it. <laughs> Parker Boy! So much better than that. Anyway, um, Mario Kart. Yes, it is a common thing. Uh, a lot of people do make adventure as chapters. Now, the only issue is that it can be a pain if you get into the space stage. Uh, I say from experience. But otherwise, just like as a general experience, um, yeah, it'd be really fun. A lot of people do chapters. I've done my fair few chapters as well. It'd be good. It'll be good. Right, it's time to play Mario Kart, apparently. Another one by Photo. Yeah, like Valley of the Dragons, yeah. Like, we, we can all, I think several of us here can speak from experience, right? Uh, that when you get chapters that appear in a space stage, uh, such as the random Valley of the Dragons all the time, it can be quite jarring because it doesn't force it in order, you just get a random one each time. But uh, for the people who actually actively seek out to play adventures, they can play it in their own order um, properly. So it makes a chapter experience much, much better. Right, well, we're waiting. Cookie guy purr. Oh, there we go. That was quick and easy. Oh my god, his face. I love the foot beneath him. Finish first. Um, click on me for more hints. Hello. Avoid contact with your opponents. Use the middle right mouse button to steer and practice. Okay. Just gonna turn the volume up, up a little bit again, like that. And then I'm going to replay. And let's see how this goes then. Meow. Oh my god! You know, I've actually not played Mario Kart in like what, 15? Probably more than eight years. 
I've actually not played Mario Kart in ages. Oh no, I failed! That's wonderful. Mag, have you, you, mate? You truly are the Millennium Maglad. And Rabina, lovely to see you here. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Right, let's show that one again then, shall we? So it's a time limit. I didn't actually see that the first time. So I need to try and beat him within the time limit. Ow, ow, lame. Ow, fuck. Oh, it actually kills you. Interesting. Maver, welcome as well. This is kind of cool, actually. Once again, by photo. Absolute legend. No, 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 no. Oh, nailed it. Come on. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's a little rainbow road. I love it. That's a really spazzy. Um, hello? I like the plant. Whee! I love how just like anticlimactic slow it is right now. Uh, right, we're gonna go on that side. Oh shit! It's fine. We didn't die. The oh, fuck! Why did it explode? I was doing fine. Oh, oh, oh! That's the part they don't show you about Mario Kart. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> he dies in the original Nintendo game. He fucking dies here as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Lucky. Let's try that again. I like this. This is good. You. Astra, I'm not sure that meme is a good one to share in here. Oh god. My mic's a bit echoey. Oh wait, it's actually. Hold on. Maybe because it's a little bit... I'm leaning backwards. No! Hold on. How about now? Right, come on. I'm determined. We can do this. Yeah, my, my mistake. Thank you, Kev. Uh, that's because I was leaning back. I was leaning back, all cash and everything. Oh, why are you so slow? You move so quickly every other time. Damn it. This music is inappropriately calm, but I feel like we need some like proper exciting adventure music for this one, don't we? Oh, poor Waluigi. I think it was that one that just like kind of died. Whee! Hey Yoshi, how's it going fam? How's it going? Yep, don't mind me, don't mind me. And yeet! Chicken Nugget has a great idea. Okay, so it explode. Oh, okay, so we beat it. Damn it, I was hoping we'd fail again so I could change the music. Alright. Okay, guys. We're gonna do this one one more time. Okay? Just, just bear with me one second. We're gonna do it one more time. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Are you ready? Are you ready? This was so much more appropriate. This was way better. Oh, this is so much better! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mag, take care of yourself. Love you, Mag. Oh, this is so much better! Still can't drive that. Still can't drive, but hey, at least it looks more fun. No, 
Nailing it! <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad! No! I technically made it! Oh, that would have been such a good pace! Okay, one more. Ran over the frog, good, and served it. What? Nailed it! Nailed it! Fuck you! You got it, just got smashed. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. That was worth it. Okay, next time we do a racing one, I need to do that one again. <laughs> I love the little dancer foot sticking out as well. That was good. I wonder, did I get like, uh, what was my score on that one? I, I should have checked, but I was worried about crashing. Mario Kart little wiener leg. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. So, Mario Kart. Did I get like any score on that one at all? I think it was, yeah, version 2, wasn't it? It probably didn't save. It didn't save. Ah. Oh well. Mario be driving cars like in the Flintstones. True. <laughs> and Sonny, I'm glad you enjoyed that. I'm glad you all enjoyed that. Oh, my microphone's in the wrong place again. Here we go. Right then. To the next one. Uh, there's another template. We'll, we'll take a look. You know, we've gone from like really crazy, fast-paced stuff to uh, more, you know, checking out showcases. Oh, good has good. Let's have a look at this, then, shall we? That is a pretty epic way to start. Not gonna lie. This was so much more appropriate. This was way better. Ah, shut up. What happens in the end? Why just die? Oh, this is so much better. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, that's actually a really good clip. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, but I can do it. I completely agree. I'm definitely shipping that one off to Cleric. They'll probably even make that one to another short as well, actually, on YouTube. Oh, that was great. That was a really, really good one. And Matt, I'll see you shortly then. <laughs> I can't wait for Clarence to see that one. Why did I just spawn in a pentagram? That's ominous. Hello? I have become pentagram! Ooh, well, this actually looks kind of cool. Okay, <gasps> we have a chameleon! Hey, why hello? That's flickering. Ah, oh, that hurts my eyes. Let's see. Uh, right then, so. What do we have around here? Have I become a demon? Hey, what do you mean become? I always have been. Anyway, um, so. 
that's just another, you know, little, little showcasey one. Checking out what's around here. Another template for people to use. We have villagers, which are happy little bird people. A bunch of various plants and such. What do we have over here? We've got a goblin wizard. Random. You have a wonderful nose. All right then. I expect the crazy noises. Hey man. Hey, you you like my crazy noises? You like them. Anyway, um, so there's not really much to show in this one, but I do like the general aesthetic of like using all these rocks in this way. Like a lot of these rocks, such as the uh, cogwheels, I've never really found use for. They look really cool as like wall patterning. So that's actually a good idea to keep in mind for the future. Is that a little totem thingy? What is that? <laughs> that statue to the apple right there. That's actually really cool looking. I like that. Very cool. But otherwise, there isn't really much to show here, is there? Uh, and I'm stuck. There's an invisible wall here. All right then. Well, I think we've pff, kind of expended what there is to see here then. Oh, that was funky. There's a archer shooting up there. All right then. We've got a freaking little crystal wyvern. We've got dragons. Perfect. And uh, yeah, I'd say uh, I'd say that's it. Cool. It's pretty. Not bad. Not bad. Am I secretly a demon? <laughs> Meanwhile, could you go burr? Perfect. So, who was this by in the end then? This one was by Clarek! I like it. I'm gonna upload it. Even though the whole voting or rating thing in was broken anyway, I'm gonna rate it anyway. Don't befriend a Grox. Okay. Interesting. Don't befriend a Brox. A creepy dark water planet. Receiving a message from an unknown source. Captain, you hate Grox, don't you? Well, today you have to change. Uh, today you have a change a chance to defeat them for good. If you're interested, locate planet Oz Osra in the system of Ketrum. I'll contact you when you've landed there. This adventure is very hard. You need at least one long-range weapon and the ability to jump. I don't have a long-range weapon, so I might not be able to do this one then. Interesting. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly true. <laughs> oh no, the Crux fans go bro. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna stretch. Oh, sorry. That was unexpected. Right then. Well, while that's loading, let me just, uh, what can I do here while it's loading? That's another achievement. Another two achievements. And, eh, leave it at that. I get some more fractal engines. That I could. I should actually, it's a good point. Mm, yeah, it's good enough. The wizard tower is so much shorter than how. Wait, the wizard tower is so much shorter than what I have. Much shorter? Wait, what do you mean by that? Oh. Hydrate and socks, I'm telling you with a high listed message. Hydrate. <laughs> All right, then, thank you. That I shall. Always healthy. Definitely healthy to stay hydrated. It's something I frequently forget to do during streams. Like, it's, it's so easy to get carried away. And it's nice just having those little reminders. You had ribs the other day. Oh, I want ribs. <gasps> Ooh, barbecue ribs. I haven't had those in ages. All right, well. I wonder, I'm curious, since I'm going to be not playing it anyway. If I've got the golden switch on, what happens if I use that? It backfired. <laughs> never mind. Alright, well, never mind. <gasps> Sai, hello! Welcome, welcome! Ah! 
Is that a Godzilla cookie? Uh, it is Crumble. I'm assuming you mean the one on the bottom left hand corner here. This, oh, actually no, you probably mean this one here. Uh, that is a buff. Godzamok, Spirit of Ruin. You don't have to play cookie, cookie, cookie clicker efficiently. Me neither. Me neither, to be fair. But I mean, hey, um, I'm getting far into them in the octillion range now. Right. After about an hour of sneakily trying to find a safe place to beam down to, you found a good location. Whatever the plant is, it definitely belongs to the Crocs. Uh, if that's the case, it'd be inhospital. Inhospitable. Oh my god. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so you're really interested in defeating the Grox, Captain. Good. I send your location to your minimap. Go there and meet me face to face. Beware the Grox on the way. Okay, stealth. And I am small and speedy. Oh, hello. They don't look like rocks. Have you heard what the Emperor is planning? To me that sounds, well, I can't say it out loud. He has become soft, uh, way too soft to rule us. When Groog lost his implants, he didn't want to get new ones. I think, I think it starts to side with the fully organic life forms, but that sucks. What the hell? That's what they look like. Oh, they're, they're close enough. Actually, they're pretty cool. I like them. It's like an updated design. I actually really like that one. That grew. Okay, then. Oh, it is inhospitable. I really can't say that word. But I do like the look of the planet. Got more grocks over to the left. So we've got this guy. We meet at last, partner. Ooh. Okay, that sounded epic, and he looked epic. Look at this absolute unit. Okay, it's really tiny now, but he looks crazy cool. I can see from your face that you, that you weren't expecting your mysterious contact to be a Grox himself. You can love those guns of yours. This is not a trap. This is your only. This is your only real chance. Change. Uh, you can't see it because of the overlay, but it keeps on saying change every time there's a chance, and it throws me off. Anyway. This is your only real chance to kill the Emperor of all Grox in Mika 64's galaxy. Well, you might be from another galaxy and, and don't care, but imagine how much you get paid by the other races for finally defeating a Grox Scourge. So, I am Cerebro Zoldraz, the former main engineer of the Great Grox Empire. I was once respected and feared, but then there was another captain just like you. That captain stopped me from starting the Doomsday. I had located an ancient war machine, Lord Robonix. With it, I was able to purify the galaxy from evil. That captain fought against one of my Robo Warriors, won it, and by doing that, destroyed Robonics. When the Emperor heard about that, he wasn't happy. He killed all of my soldiers and left me alive only for one thing. Uh. I'll talk a bit more. Investigate that drone bot there. Don't worry, that is uh, my friend, maybe your friend. After that, take the red key I have and head towards the red gate outside. Go through and go to the path on your right. The, uh, I do apologize, the grammar is not perfect and it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Hello Vinesh, welcome. So if I'm kind of not really reading very well, it's a little bit, yeah, yeah, like separated sentences was a lost concept, yeah. It's a little bit uh, jagged, but I'm trying to go with the flow. And Jiggy Nugget, have a wonderful night, mate, and take care of yourself. Lovely seeing you again. So the gist is, is that the former main engineer is going to help us overthrow the Emperor. Soldrat. He left me alive for one thing, for my brains. I'm the most intelligent Grox after all. So I'm helping you take down the Emperor. So what? That won't stop the Grox. Maybe it... Yeah, like, again, the, the center structure is really garbage. Right. So what? That won't stop the Grox. Maybe in your galaxy, but here in Mika 64s, the Grox have only been so powerful thanks to Groog and his ancestors. Without his rule, the Grox would, Grox would become nothing more than a pack of wild slugs. Anyway, are you in or out? 
Can you this one time trust a Grox? You'd be a big hero. Excellent. Let's get started then, friend. Grug has, Grug has for a very long time been working on a massive project, Project Flyinator. <laughs> wow. A huge battle robot that, that would be able to destroy anything and everything. It's almost ready and he wants to be there when it is put online. First, we must make course... First, we must, of course, make sure that that never happens. Second, we must deal with the Grugs at hand, aka his most trusted generals, Grexic and Grodox. Then him. Oh, okay. And Dimmy, take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, again. Sorry, I'm trying to go with the flu. So, now, take that red key and head to the docks on your right. Not your left, your right. I'll meet you there. Alright then. Let's go left! Okay, let's go right. <laughs> so we want to go through here then. I'm going to stealth up again because it was saying earlier about how we want to avoid any grocks and there's a couple right here. Oh, something, someone there. I must be hearing things. And that is a repeat dialogue from earlier. That's another repeat dialogue. Right then, where are we off to next then? There's a dialogue over here. No, there wasn't. There was a dialogue somewhere around here. Oh, respawn. Give me a second. What's that? Oh, I'll check it in a moment. Might get spammed in a moment. <laughs> ah, here we go then. Step on the platform, Captain. It'll take you to your first destination. I'll be in touch when you get in there. And, and, oh, inspect the platform only after you're standing on it. Only after I'm standing on it. Okay. Cutscene? No, no cutscene. I hope you're standing on the platform, Captain. If you're not, the platform boat will be taken off without you. Ah, right. I thought it was going to be a cutscene like what Derez and Matthew do. But no, it's just, uh, Making sure it actually p works properly. And if you're ready to figure it out, you can't really swim in lava. Really? Buckle up, I'll have to warn you about something quickly. There might be sea turrets on the way. If you're so unlucky that you come across one, well, stay calm and don't fall to lava. So here you go. Three, two, one. Nothing happened. Let me try again. Nothing. Is this thing broken? Oh wait, that works. Three, two, one, zero. Bloody hell. See, I, I'm tempted to like voice act these, but I'm worried it'll be a bit cringe. <laughs> Zaldraz has sent you to a Grox facility of some sort. Find a terminal or something so that you can contact Zaldraz about the details and such. As told earlier, watch out for the Grox. Stealth! Since, as we all know, stealth is the most overpowered thing in Galactic Adventures. If you can, always make sure that you're stealthing. Why?! Nailed it. Didn't happen. Nailed it. <laughs> totally nailed it. <laughs> right. Oh dear, we've got a giant oceanic grox thingy. No, why would you do that again? No, stop! You absolute mongo bongo! Well, that happened. It was a nice save. It was, and then it suddenly wasn't anymore. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Let's just, um, yeet. <laughs> yeah, I love the screams that they do. Oh, well, that was awkward. Yum. So, I do agree with Jiggy Nugget earlier that it's fun to have small captains in these adventures because it makes you run so much faster. But then at the same time, you run so much faster that you yeet off edges like that. Whoops. Right, talk to you, talk to you, grab that key. I'm gonna go run forward again. And get back to where we left off. Yes, I do wish checkpoints were a thing. It'd be so so convenient to spore uh, if adventures did have checkpoints. Wait, wrong way. 
Yum. Right, let's try that again with uh, less yeasting and dying this time. And I'm already stuffed, which means that we should be safe and sound. Now, while we're, you know, just kind of yeeting. <laughs> may as well have a look at this again. What can I buy? Uh, everything's in the Octillion range, so I probably can't buy much yet. <laughs> yeah, stealth is infinite. Um, as long as you're using like the creature, uh, the creature stage stealth or the creature part. Saying that, it did just knock me out of stuff. No wait. I have the energy version on this, char on this character. Crap! I need to edit that out at some point. Yeah, it just tanked all of my energy. Well, that's uh not good. I definitely need to fix that at some point. Mm. Meanwhile, Pog. another achievement got. I gotta say, I'm enjoying the music <laughs> while just drifting in a big lava lake on a metal platform. What do you guys think? Is this uh, fitting right now? <laughs> yeah, true, Sammy. Yeah, exactly, Chalk. That's uh, exactly why it is better to have the creature one. But turns out, actually, um, I thought I had a creature one in this character. But turns out, I actually have the stupid captain one. Whoopsie. <laughs> Straight up vibe. Yeah, it is quite nice. I do like the music. It's just... Kind of funny, like just the uh, contrast compared to what's actually going on in the game. Right, we are almost there. Um, hello, are we meant to go here? Yep, cool. We're getting closer. No! Leave me alone! Yeet! For the glory of the Grox Empire, die? No, you! Right, so I'm actually meant to go now. Dirty scum will now be deleted. You're gonna delete me? Oh. Well then, how about that? Guys, I don't wanna be deleted! I'm too young to be deleted! Right, if we go. I work always. Wait, is that got like a potato head? Oh, that's freaky looking. Uh, so the original, uh, the original adventure, it did have music, but I have turned off. That is correct. Reason being is that if I ever end up using this footage into uh, like live stream, uh, into videos such as the highlight clips, it will get copyrighted. It's annoying. So yeah, unfortunately, I do just have it muted. Yeah, good old copyright in it, good old copyright. We have to go up here. Neat. I'm just gonna grab that quickly. Hopefully it's not too jarring. I really hope it's not too bad. Right, we found a rock terminal. Oh Jesus, hello. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Who's there? Hello. Identify yourself or prepare to meet the wrath of the Grox Empire. <laughs> it's you, Captain. Good. Sorry about all that. I'd have to sound convincing in case there was uh, someone else at the other end. Anyhow, you have a mission there. Sabotage. This area is supplying all sorts of tech to fly Nato's dry dock. If nothing has gone wrong, in a few minutes, the five of us packages will be sent there. <laughs> I'm just seeing the uh, replies now. They're the most important parts of the whole package, uh, project, Flynator's brains. By sabotaging the brain parts, the whole robot will collapse like an unmanned uh, unicycle or a sleepy one Grecian one-legged Zebi. Cool. So, how are you going to sabotage the parts? That'll be easy. Just get close to a box and I'll send a scrambling radio wave through your outfit's radio. When you're done with that, there should be a truckload. There should be there should be a truck loading in some random stuff to a Dronox cloning facility. Sneak inside one of the crates for a free ride. Right, Pog. Yeah, no, I was really ah, ow, rude. 
Yeah, I was extremely unprepared for the uh, <laughs> for that face as well. Dronox, of course. Where there's Grox, there's them. Killing them is useless uh, for there's a cloning pod somewhere uh, creating more of them. But if but if that's but if that'll save your skin, go ahead. If that'll save your skin, same. Right then, that was uh, again a bit jarring. Ow. 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 Eh, we're fine. We'll just mind control everyone. It's fine. Just mind control them. We good. We Gucci. Eh, apparently I can one-shot everything anyway. So, we need to go to... Wait, for piss off, rude. Wank. So we need to collect a bunch of brain parts, and then we need to jump into a moving truck, it says. Well, we've got one over here, apparently. I don't think that's quite right. No, there's apparently one in the ocean. That's a bit weird. Okay, well, we'll just move out here instead. Just saying, the grocks aren't really that strong. Above. Could be above, actually. Let's go have a quick look at that. Wow, there's a giant epic over there. It's scary looking thing right over there. Right, let's go okay, pause then. So, apparently there could be one somewhere like around here. <laughs> yeah, big robot. Hmm. What is a little bit annoying is that where I was trying to uh, focus so hard on making this thing actually flow properly. Ah, there we go. Uh, I did kind of lose track a little bit. This is about the brain parts that you need to sabotage, Captain. I'll send the scrambling radio wave now. Uh, no. <sighs> well. <laughs> You know what? That's well played. That's um, that's well played. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Sammy, it, for, for those of you who can't see due to the resolution, it was the lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up. Not even kidding, we just got Rick rolled. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you had to hear that. I forgot that, I forgot that you went to Crocs. What? Anyway, I have now made the radio wave unhearable, even for you, so go f go and find the other four brain, bo brain box parts. As always, I'll soon contact you again. I didn't mean to sing that, by the way. It's just my Grox voice. We beep and boop every now and then. What? The hell? Okay, alright, sure, whatever. Um, well, I can't destroy it. I just have to move to them. Alright then. Nice! Eight. So, we are infiltrated a Grox camp. We're going to go ahead and destroy all of these thingies, or actually move move up to them. Got one over there. Fly nature could be so, so beautiful, but no, a group wanted to protect the whole galaxy against some sort of storm of fury. And let's go, no problem. Um, what version of Spore I'm using? Just Origin, I believe. Ow. Ow. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. Screw the grocks. Ah, la, la, la. Right, there's another one over here. Come on. There we go. There's apparently a couple around over here. Kill him quickly. Yeah, I gotta say, man, the grocks uh, really aren't that strong. Considering you made such a point about, you know, not being detected. And yeah, the, this map doesn't appear to be quite long. If it ends up being a bit, just, you know, a bit much, I probably am going to skip it, to be honest. Uh, let's go. Yes. Yes, I have. I take it as a truck, I probably have to jump into. No, it's probably not. It's shooting me. Rip. 
gonna destroy it. No, can't destroy it. Well, I can eventually, but it'll be a bit uh, too much. There's another. Oh, okay. So that's a crate I've got to get into after I spoke with, with Zoldress and sabotage the five crates. If you get in, well, you get a punishment, a deadly one. Okay, then. Interesting. I started to find two more. So now I know where to go at the end of it. Where the hell are the other two? I've already been to that one over there. I've already been to this one over here, I believe. Yeah, I have. I really wish the minimap in Sport actually worked. If you ever noticed that, a minimap is just absolute garbage. I've already been to this one. So I thought like there should be one around here, but there is seemingly not. There is apparently one over here, which is why I tried to go to earlier. Oh, there it is. That's what I couldn't find earlier. Giving Carrick more to work with. Good. Rude. Ow. And there's one more that we've not seen yet. I've been to that one, haven't I? Yes, I have. By the way, sorry for the um, camera spin. God, I got to change this character. <laughs> the uh, amount of energy drain is absolutely nightmarish. Right, we'll sound like one around here, perhaps. Maybe we'll backtrack a little bit. Die. Can I stealth up? I can. But there doesn't seem to be one around here. And again, definitely not going to the minimap. You know, assuming it's to be trusted. Yeah, indeed, Tommy. It's really annoying, isn't it? I absolutely hate it. There's supposed to be one around here, but I think I've already been to this one. I have. Okay, so I've been to that one. Uh, there's one here that I believe I've been to, and I have, so logically there should be one more somewhere around here. Logically that is. There it is. Okay. I'm just blind. That's how it works. Right. Grab a bit more energy, and we'll go into the box. Oh, hello. Right then, so we've just teleported. I guess we got uh, transferred somewhere. You have arrived at a Jodrath cloning facility. What is your job here then? Find a terminal again and contact Zoldras. I don't want to send the obvious, but there's a lot of Jodraths around. This is a cool area. Much more open. I like this. Gredox will soon present the new unit to our Dronox armies. I can't wait to see what he has designed this time, but wait, who am I talking to? Sabotage! <laughs> oh god! I hate it! <laughs> it's it's a good idea, these things, but I really hate it! <laughs> it's, it's multiplying! Oh no! Uh, Gabby, I I can't remember Timmy. I did have Solstice, but I couldn't find him. I, for some reason, it's, um, I don't have Solstice anymore, which is really annoying. Which is why I've been using Solar Flare. I'm going to see if I can try to get Solstice again, because I forgot how, um, how unoptimized Solar Flare is. Hydrate, good idea. Thank you. Right. Uh, oh wow, sorry, that's interesting. Right then, I assume it is you, Captain. You may or may not have noticed that you are now in a Dronox, Dronox cl cloning facility. Here, Dronoxes are developed and studied and upgraded and so on. But why you're the... something? Zoldras, you little conspirator. You think you're so wise and all, but really, broadcasting yourself to spy on a public channel? Not a good idea. And for that, you'll finally get... Oh, Blarp, Grodox. 
Well, it seems that the secret is out. Cap, I mean Spy, the other voice you're hearing belongs to Grodox, your next target. He is the creator of Dronox. That and so much more. But talking nice isn't going to save your worthless skin. I'll report this to Grug, but he probably would still want to spare you. So instead, I'll do it myself. And you, Spy, aka Captain. Come on, you thought I didn't hear? Come and play with me. <laughs> Come and, come and play with me. I have so much new units to test against you. And sorry, now I cut the food so Zoldress can't help you. Oh dear. It is just like Crash Bandicoot. You're dead right. Oh my god, it's just like Crash Bandicoot. Oh, I can't unsee it. I love it now. Thank you, you, you fixed it for me. Right, well that's interesting. Um, so, what do I actually have to do? Great, Grodox knows that you're coming for him, but at least he hasn't reported your presence to the Emperor, which means if everything goes well, you still have a chance to kill him too. Now, you just have to find Grodox. Where could he be hiding? Oh, I forgot to mention, me and my testers are waiting for you in the, labo uh, in the laboratory. It's that building with the spinning antennas on the top. See you soon, or maybe not. Spinning antennas on the top. Okay, that actually helps. I mean, so far it's been a fun adventure. Uh, whoa, okay, actually, that's a, a giant thing. I guess that's the, the flyinator they were calling it earlier. That's interesting. Anyway, I was just gonna say, it's just an interesting adventure. I do like this one, but. Uh, it's definitely kind of one where it'd be better off recorded because I'd have to like kind of do a couple of uh, retakes of the commentary. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit off on stream, unfortunately. Oh, that's a really good indicator. I'm gonna just grab that quickly and walk straight in. Oh, hello. So, you found your way to my laboratory. Good. Now, let the games begin. I'll tell you the rules shortly. Now you just have to survive for a bit, and it won't be easy. Mwahahaha. Wait. Is this a good guy or a bad guy? Hey, this laboratory is looking... Uh... Oh, that reminds me, actually. I need to... High-res texture... I forgot what the command is. Give me a second. Give me one second. I need to remember what the command is. Level. Thank you. I need to remember to do that every time. Right, so. Again, what am I doing here? Am I just killing things? This is a new one. It seems to be at least five times more stronger than the normal Drenox units. Well, good thing I'm stealthed. I guess I'll just run through. God, I, I love the ominous in the background of an epic. Oh, we we're doing well for some reason. Well, maybe my Dronoxes were faulty or something. Now, in order to get to the next level in our little game, you must find green keys. Yeah, and there goes my energy indeed. A giant Dronox? But it seems that it acts very much like an ordinary giant, so taking it down shouldn't be much of a challenge. Eh. Or I can just run past it. Now, I'm not seeing any green keys anywhere. Oh, I dealt with that quite easily. Oh, wasn't this cute little drone ox? Well, it might be funny and small, but don't get too close. No, you. Oh, there we go. I guess it's quite straightforward. Too bad my captain's scuffed and has no energy. I know it's because I had stealth on the entire time, but... Uh, it shouldn't have this uh, damage reduction one that drains your energy. Oh, I have another key. Nice AI. There we go. You know, 
I know none of us kind of uh, shit talk the um, sounds and spore a lot, but it would never get old to me, just the sounds I make when I scream. <laughs> I just love, I love the screams. Rude. Why is there just a light to run past like that? I oh, know, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? It's definitely a little bit scuffed. Uh, is there any keys hidden around here? No. Oh, hello. An assassin, another new unit. This seems to be a bit faster than the others, and their poison blades look really poisonous. Really? Their poison blades look poisonous? Well, I'll be damned. Ow. Gang banged. Right. Any more green keys? I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised uh, when at the beginning of the adventure it said about how you need like a ton of ranged weapons and it'd be a very, very hard one. Haunted, it's a little bit tricky, you know, the multitasking and commentating, but in terms of actual combat, it's been kind of straightforward. It's been just tedious. More than anything else. Not bad though. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree with that, Asaki. It's fun. I'm, I am enjoying it, but it's. I don't know. When the introduction said about how it would have, like, um, how it would be, you know, really hard, I think it kind of swayed it a little bit. Uh, Dino. No. So the HP is actually determined by the person who made the adventure, and they decided that for this one I'd have 10k. Well, 9.2. This is not a fake wall. Alright then. Piss off! Oh god, I can't. Oh, there we go, that worked. <laughs> Rip my energy though. Oh, what's this? And yeah, that too, Chuck, that's true. So there's a couple of like different multipliers, uh, both of the what the adventure, uh, both what the creator. Sorry, I was reading the chat for something there. Sub level of their three. Wait, you what hat? But yeah. I'm definitely getting the vibe that this is being a bit too tedious. In fact, oh god, yeah, in fact, I just noticed we're only, we're not even halfway in. Hmm. Let's see what this next part here does. And if this is just gonna be like another, you know, kind of run around, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. I'll finish it in my own time. Maybe like in a video, but I think like as a stream, it's a bit jarring. Yeah, I think this is a bit, a bit long and a bit weird. Yeet! <laughs> fuck you, just gonna run past. Oh god. Ran past too much. Stop. Yeah, I think we're quite capable of just skipping everything, to be honest. Whee. All right, got another part path right here. This one leads to. This is actually pretty cool. I like this part here. I do like the environment. There we go. I do like all the different little areas here. Let's go ahead then, and we'll take this back. There we go. I'm just going to start cheating it. That worked. That worked really effectively in the end. Right then. Wait, Captain. Are you aware what Zoldress is planning? This is this is complete madness. Are you on his side? Cruel. And Grug is just about to declare peace with a uh, peace with. I won't allow this. Okay, that was, again, really jarring. Oh! Yeet! This is cool. Oh, this is really cool. I do like this. Um, where am I going? Is it hello? Oh, never mind, not anymore. Okay, um... I'm gonna play this one in my own time. What was it called? 
Don't befriend a Grox. Okay. This is not a good one to stream. And it just crashed. Fantastic. That is not a good adventure to stream. It's just like the ones from like the Resident H.R. Matthew. Those are definitely the type of ones where it's better um, on video you know, when everything's edited, where it's all chopped up and makes more sense. And the commentary is a bit better. Uh, don't befriend a Grox. So I do want to see how that pans out, but I just think it could be done a lot better. Yeah, in an adventure roulette, so I think it was just a bit too much. Uh, apparently the game agreed. <laughs> the game agreed and I crashed for me. Well, not crashed, um, sent me flying horizontally and then crashed afterwards. Oh dear. Yeah, sorry that one's a little bit long. Lesson learned. That's definitely a lesson learned. I tell you what, actually, I do need to be right back uh, for just a moment. So I'm going to take this opportunity to have a five minute break because I do need a loo and I may as well get a cup of tea. I mean, you know, it's just rude not to. If you're going to go do things, you may as well get a cup of tea. Cup of tea is good for me. I love it. So I will be just about like, what, five, six minutes? And you guys get yourself a snack, a drink, have a stretch and such meanwhile. And I'll see you in a moment.
Why, hello. Right. I had a thought. <laughs> I had a bit of a thought, a bit of an idea. Now, imagine, right? That adventure that we just did among like others. Uh, yes, it did hurt. I think it will hurt everyone when you hear what this idea is. Imagine. So I've been saying for a while that I want to get back into doing more adventure videos again. And just, just out of nowhere, I had a bit of a unique idea. What if, so you, you, you know how you've heard uh, me do my silly voice acting every now and then? Where I get like really, <laughs> really into it and very silly. Imagine if I did some adventures and I got some of you guys to voice act it. I think that'd be interesting. Imagine Sommy voice acting one of them. <laughs> I really want to do this. I really, really want to do this at some point. I need to figure it out, but fucking hell. There's more to the idea as well. I could like, instead of doing let's plays, I could turn it into like little machinimas. Like not, not too try hard, like a bit of a, a light cringe try hard. Like it's funny and silly. So like we're in individual scenes, so instead of like, you know, let's playing the adventure, where like, you know, if say you've got like killed 10 creatures, you just do like a little silly montage, like all the epic, you know, um, epic, what's the word? Ah, uh, shaders and such. So it's like all flashing or silly. <laughs> you got like different people voice acting in the background. I don't know how it would go. I don't know how it would work out. Um, like kind of like a clip comp completion in a way. I don't know how well it would work out in practice. It might turn out really cringe, but I think it'd just be really fun. I think it'd be so much better than just a standard cut and dry let's play. I don't know. It it just occurred to me while I was away, and I kind of want to really experiment with that at some point. Yeah, exactly. It'd probably be cringe, but it'd be really fun. And I think what'd be really fun about it is the fact that it'd be, like... It wouldn't be quite a community thing, but the people involved are in the community, if that makes any sense. I mean, you've heard my shitty voice acting every now and then. <laughs> I think it'd be great to, like, take it to the next level. And battle Jackie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. I need to, I need to think about that. I'm going to write that down as well, so I don't forget it. But, uh... I, it's, an, it's an idea I really want to play with. Even if it's just for one video. Oh no, sorry, I could see that. I could see some of you guys, so I could see some people, respectfully, being very cringe. And I can see some people being really good, <laughs> really good at it. But uh, I think I think some is the one. <laughs> I don't want to play favorites, but I think some is the one I'd be the most excited to hear. <laughs> Could, I mean, we've we've heard just the way Sobby speaks it before. <laughs> I think it'd be amazing. Right, uh, let me just quickly write this down then. So, possible idea, uh, community, voice act, and uh, machinima adventures. Like I said, I think it'll just be so much better than like a cut and dry let's play. It's that they do get kind of stagnant after a while, don't they? And let's face it, I'm not the funniest person, not in video. I can be quite funny on stream, but I'm not that funny on video, so I can't exactly make, you know, comedy a part of it for a uh, adventure let's play. But what I don't use enough of is my friends. That came out wrong. You know what I mean. You know what I mean by that. <laughs> I don't take advantage of the fact that I've got so many people willing to come join. VAs? What is a VA? The rise of videos where VAs just um, chat in the background and have these little funny interactions. What's, what's, what's VA? Voice, oh, voice actor! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. That's me sitting there thinking of something to do like VR and avatars for some reason. <laughs> Thank you. I've actually never seen anything like that. So to me it'll be a new thing entirely. Yeah, exactly, Sai, exactly. Uh, like I said, is I've literally just had the idea now. 
So I'm not going to promise, you know, I'm going to go into head and do it right now, especially it's for the next week I'm going to be raiding all anyway. We've got a lot of um, games and stuff coming out this week. But I think it'd be so much better than a Let's Play. So I'm going to keep it in mind. But let's move on to the space feeling. The space feeling. Oh. Well then. And Ten Scorpion, thank you for following. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Take control over a Zolith ship and destroy your enemies. Oh, why do I have a feeling this was going to be very flashy and grindy? <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a big, crazy one, I reckon. Big and crazy in terms of, like, just visual overload. I like how the ship goes... Hello, Tens. Welcome. Welcome to space. If you find some more Zoloth ships, drive in them, to, uh, drive in them, they give energy. Okay. Destroy other spaceships. This is... a bit much. Um, hello? Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> You know that adventure by photo we were playing just yesterday? Oh, hello! Oh, okay, this is a bit more interesting. Oh god. As I was gonna say, you know that adventure we played by photo yesterday where we were like star foxing around the planet? Having played that, this feels like something. We gotta defeat four more. Okay as I just randomly hop around everywhere. Come on, shoot that one. Shoot that one. One more, and I'm out of energy, that's a good sign. Gi, shut the fuck. Damn you, Gi. Uh, we just shoot that one, okay. We've shot them all, good job. Let's get into the mothership. Err. Oh. <laughs> Having spent like half an hour on a previous adventure, this one was so short. <laughs> right, well, there you go, job done. By Hurtigan, cool, thanks. <laughs> that was a quick and easy one. Oh, and it just crashed. It was so quick and easy, it just crashed. Okay then. Um, just give it a moment, we'll play again. Meanwhile. <gasps> Mine. Pog. Hello Storm, welcome. It even dominated sport and made it crash. <laughs> you ever get so happy you flip your spaceship? True. Hey Storm, hope you're doing well. Yeah, that was quick and simple. That was startlingly, like such a startling, startling contrast compared to the previous one we just played. Excuse me, uh, English is bad. Am I hearing... I feel like I'm hearing a beeping. Is that the music? I feel like I keep hearing music. The music is alarms. Oh, fuck off. God, I hate the stock sounds in the music. It's so annoying. Thank you. Right then. Next adventure. No. Next adventure. Hive Hat and the Secret Service. That, I'm pretty sure, was another parter. Uh, that was one's by Little Mato. Time Travel 1, the, the, the Australian Winter. Okay, this is a part one, so we can actually start with this one. I want to see what this is about. And, uh, yeah, reminder can I try to get Solstice back? Where the hell is Solstice? Because I am really not enjoying um, Sword of Flare. So I've got these two here. Let's load them two in. But I can't actually use them, can I? No. I think I might have to make a new captain. That's annoying. Oh, saw me. That's horrible. That sounds absolutely horrible. Right, give it a moment. Um, yeah, because 
Solstice is much bigger fantasy for it. Solstice is uh, much more optimized. Whereas Solar Flare, as we saw, we kept getting cucked by the stealth, we kept getting cucked by uh, taking damage, was draining our energy. And in adventures, I have a bit more combat. It's horrible. Oh, uh, Storm, I actually don't know about that, to be honest. And Sai, yes, I do. However, I don't have Dark Injection installed at the moment, aside from the foundation packages. I've currently got Dark Injection uninstalled because I've been recently playing campaign a lot. But I do still have the uh, public release, that is correct. I was going to get Solstice back. There he is! That's not right. Is this the one I used? Or, wait, actually, was it... New Solstice? Was it OG Solstice? I think it was actually OG one I used. Oh, I've forgotten. Yeah, this is what I'll be using. Um, right, I was looking for the wrong one, wasn't I? Then again, the stats are about the same, I think. Yes, I'll be doing more ARC very soon. Uh, yes, it will be. I plan on hosting a public server quite soon, actually. Public, not Patreon. And Storm, Nora Storm, the mate, take care of yourself. Oh, sorry, good point, actually. It was more so about the progress. I didn't want to lose all the progress on my uh, captains, but it seems I've lost it anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> I might just go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this one I was using. It was like the OG, um, or the old school one. So go ahead and grab that one then. Which it won't let me do, which is... Annoying. Alright, give me one second. I'm surprised it's done this. I've not changed my files in a very, very long time. But apparently, yeah, apparently it's just rejected. My old captains. Grr, that's annoying. Try again, bear with me. So if I'll do what Sai said then, let's just quickly exit out. No, actually that works. Uh, let's quickly go back in then. Great new. And let's just grab this. It cannot be loaded. It doesn't work. Yikes. Yeah, I think I randomly lost my best captain. That kind of sucks. Uh, what if I do it this way? Can I find you at all then? It's the three of them. Oh, Chuck, that's good to know then. Thank you for the explanation. Oh, that's, that's really annoying. I hate when Spore does this. It's so strange because I've not I've not uninstalled or reinstalled anything for a very long time recently. A very long time in general, excuse me. Lame. Oh well. This might be words of the wasteland. This might be something to fix off camera. Because it does get tedious. Troubleshooting. Chalk. Oh, that's a good idea actually, Chalk. Yeah, okay. I will mess around with that after um after the stream then. That's so annoying. Right, well, we'll carry on using Solar Fair for a while then. I don't have the end to edit a mod, but I do vaguely remember the uh, Captain Glitch and to like, yeah, I'll play around a bit after uh, stream. You've been condemned for a crime you didn't commit. You are, luckily, being exiled rather than executed by your own race. But now your Captain badge and equipment are confiscated and now you're an outcast exile. That's rather uh, fitting considering I just lost my main captain. There is no way off the planet and your last record of any life is on an abandoned spice mine. Will you live to your salvation, or will you fall to the void of the wasteland? This is a prologue to a series I am now making. I recognise this one. I felt like I played this one a while ago. And welcome, guys. Uh, yes, I play sport. I play uh, both campaign adventures, and I do make a lot of creations. I 
I make a lot of things, that's for sure. But welcome. Uh, today I'm just doing a bit of uh, an adventure roulette, which means playing random adventures, because I thought like, these are very underrated. There's a lot of cool things to find in um, adventures. So welcome everyone. And Minnie, thank you for the follow. You remember me? <laughs> yeah, if uh, if you've watched Spore at all on YouTube, it's fairly likely you may have seen me at some point. But yes, welcome nonetheless. Did I do a video of this one? I really recognise this, this adventure. And Tens, no, don't apologise, it's completely okay. No worries at all, mate. But yeah, like I said, I do sometimes stream making creations. <laughs> oh, Mini Plus. Well, welcome. It's lovely to meet you. I'm just going to adjust my microphone because it's a little bit in the... There we go. Wrong place. Sorry if there's any noises there. This is taking a while to load. Right, well, uh, while it's loading... Great. <laughs> Crunch. Wow, do I want to buy that? I wonder if this is the one that was extremely difficult, it took you multiple tries to beat. That, I remember being... That one by Nethalus. The brain tree, I think. I do recognise this. If this ends up being like another, you know, long, tedious one, I will skip it. Uh, I'll let my lesson from earlier. I've already played this one, have I? You were literally kicked out of the escort ship. Ouch. <laughs> I like it. You were literally kicked out of the escort ship. If I've already played it, then I'll go ahead and skip it then. I feel like it was on YouTube. Give me a second. I'm going to have a quick little look. Spore. It was called Words of the Wasteland. No, I didn't actually. But someone else did. Huh. Neat. Oh, okay then. In that case, we're just gonna skip it then. <laughs> Alright, now. Bye, Matthew. Good save, guys. Good save. Yeah, okay. I've definitely forgotten myself. Crashed again. I've definitely forgotten myself, but... Uh, I like his adventures a lot, which is why I don't do them on stream. <laughs> Bloody crashed again. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Thankfully it loads quickly. Oh no, Chalk! Oh, it seems Chalk too has crashed. Oh, Tens, enjoy yourself. Have fun playing Spore. Which was your first Spore creation ever? Oh, give me one moment and I will show you. My first ever Spore creation from 2008 was... One moment. This. <laughs> the Two-Legged Squiggle. The Two-Legged Squiggle is my very first uh, creature come out of the cell stage. And this eventually evolved into the Horned Raptor. Uh, don't mind the wings, it's totally a raptor. This was my very, very first ever finished creation, and in my first campaign. And uh, as you can tell, I did not know how to scale things. <laughs> I did not know how to increase the, um, the spines. But uh, I actually ended up remaking that one. In the end, I did remake in 2016. Which turned into this. A bit more of a modern version. I made it when I was born. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jackie, that's the sort of one I did. I put into a 3D model. I'd like to make a high quality 3D model of this one at some point. I think it'd be really fun to do. Sonny, your flashbacks to Slayer 49 on YouTube. You used to record videos of Spore GA Adventures on a camera angle at the computer screen. Oh, no. <laughs> she sounds really, um, really nostalgic. I was nothing wrong with having like simple creations. A lot of my first creations were simple as well. Dude, a lot, a lot of my first creations were very strange. But that's the beauty of the game, isn't it? Like when you're playing for the first time, you're just making things for the fun of it. I had this one creation here called a yell. I don't know why it was called a yell, but this is called a yell. <laughs> just 
just reasons. I got this one here called the All Seeing Eye. I made a lot, a lot of weird things. It was fun though. <laughs> it's a Hydra. <laughs> Such a silly looking little Hydra. Yeah, mine are pretty weird, weird champ as well. We have uh, this one here, it's called Bird Brained. Yeah, I agree. I gotta love looking back at old creations. Uh, speaking of old creations, here is the very first Jowie. So different now, isn't it? This has become so different. Like, if I show you guys a quick little picture. So, here's old Jowie. Here's new Jowie. Isn't that just so different? Crazy. Yeah, the captain named Captain Seagull, so in game he'd be called Captain Captain Seagull. Perfect. We have the M tail, which is simply just an M tail. I know, so so creative, so imagine imaginative. <laughs> Slugger. This is definitely for an achievement. Just an achievement, just a little slugger. <laughs> oh, this is fun looking at old things. Oh, this is my favourite one. The name of this one is simply Ah. <laughs> I don't know why the name was that. Uh, just Ah. Capital letters. And by the way, a uh, fun fact. I creature tweaked the Jowie. This is a creature tweaked version of a Jowie. Uh, this is not canon, no. <laughs> yeah, edgy Jowie. Please remake Slugger. You can do. I am actually due to do some more reborns or remakes. I do miss doing those actually. We got Fanola, which it just appears to be a tent. It's an organic tent. <laughs> oh no, Minnie, I'm sorry to hear that you lost all your creations. Oh, that, that really sucks. I have heard that happens to a lot of people, which is really awful. But yeah, I do consider myself very lucky to be having all of these. This one here is called Jaws, where the A is capitalized, so J A and then lowercase w s. He's a tall boy. Maybe another fun one to remake. Hey, if you want to see more Dark and Edgy Jowie. <sighs> so, even back in the day, I creature tweaked Jowie a lot, and we have a lot of variants. So, we have the Jowie X. Here is the Jowie X. Jowies are a widely known race, and mainly for the many different forms that they have been seen in throughout the galaxy. But the Jowie X races evolved beyond their rule and abandoned the Jowie Empire to systems unknown. Jowie X remain hidden in seclusion. Now, the funny thing is, here's the funny thing, is that this was made and written back in 2008. I forgot about this. I forgot. So, I reimagined the entire, you know, splitting off into like different, uh, different versions via hybrids. I imagined that a second time organically. I didn't mean to rehash it. I just happened to think of it again. And that's something about that I find just really weird. Really interesting. So twice I happened to imagine these guys as just, you know, uh, spreading apart. We've got a Jowie X Mage. Which is basically a dragon. I mean, look, these, these are all basically dragons. We've got the Jowie, uh, the Emperor Jowie X. These are the rarest form of Jowie. Only one has ever been found. Of course, it's purple. Uh, we've also got a punk Jowie. <laughs> it's not yet known how this creature is linked to the Jowie species, but tests prove that they are the same family. <laughs> we've got the Kenna Jowie. The first Jowie species to walk up, right? See, I don't remember any of these. That's a weird thing. I don't remember these. But apparently it was just destined, I guess. It was surely destined. Jowie Draconna. Which is a Jowie Dragon cross-breeding. Oh. 
So yeah, Dragon Jowie. We have Jowie Sakana, which is another Jowie Dragon Cross. Which has got like split wings and can't fly. It may as well be another dragon. We've got a Jowie 2. A younger Jowie race. This is Jowie 2. <laughs> the sequel. We've got Callan Jowie hybrid. Now, Callan's Callan's are a big theme. I made Kalen, Callan, everything. Sorry, I'm kind of like reminiscing now. Bear with me. I'll get back to the bench in a moment. I'm just really reminiscing. We've got the Jowie zombie. The colors are a bit naff. <laughs> oh, that's me being very native there. The colors are a bit naff. <laughs> zombie Jowie. We've got Jow Jowie Corena. Much like the Jowie Draconda, this is another Jowie, Jowie Dragon crossbreeding result. This one still shows the original Jowie heritage, but some changes are greatly noticeable. That's just creepy and uncanny. I hate it. I hate this. It's horrible. Ugh. It's weird. We've got another Jowie X. We've got the Moria of the Jowie, M Jowie X Empire. Stick bug. Let me see, we've got another, okay, now we get some more serious creations. We've got like another Jowie zombie here, but this one's like, this one's like a Halloween video. There we go. That's so weird. Like, I'd, I'd forgot about a lot of these. A lot of these were imagined long before I ever established Jowie as a, as a mascot. This is just random things I made when I was like 13, 14. So strange. Oh no, Jackie, you're right. And yeah, Minnie, you're right. Well, a lot of the earlier Jowies are all like really thin, especially the original ones, because I didn't know how to scale parts. Yes, I did. I lie, because the frills. No, that's just with the uh, modifier arrows. Yes, that's right. So this is um, back before I knew how to scale parts. So everything was just like really weirdly sized. Uh, fun fact, they had uh, fake wings. They had fake wings during that evolution. And this I have made canon. I've since adopted this into their uh, evolutionary line where they grew like gliding, basically like a, uh, like certain gliding lizards out there that have these fake frill thingies. But yeah, fun fact. What's this? This is called Jowie. Draco lizards, yeah, exactly like that. That is. Freaky, I do not like this. They look like they want to sell you drugs. Fantastic. <laughs> Good. Right, well. <gasps> Mythical Fire Jowie! This was a Jowie Toba prompt a long time ago. Speaking of which, Jowie Toba's incoming again, by the way. Ah, oh, I really should have finished all those. I gotta do more of these kind of things, man. I miss this. I love this. I'm so angry, I only did the one. I didn't do the rest. I think at some point I will just go back and just complete all of Draki's uh, Jowie Table prompts, like even previous years. I think that'd be really fun. Mm. Soon! Jowie Table soon! Draki's got fun ideas incoming. Royal Jowgriff? What is this? Uh, whatever it is, it's big and loading. It's a joke clown shoes. Oh, I remember this one, yeah. It was just a weird... Is it a Jowie? I guess it's the eyes, technically. I forgot about this creation. The head is so weird, but the body's awesome. Huh. Interesting. Right, anyway. Sorry. Um, let's get back to... <laughs> we'll do it then, shall we? And thank you, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's get back to what we we're doing. Clark and Stanley blows up. <sighs> I forgot about Clark and Stanley. I forgot. Um, I don't think it was Winner's War. I'm not sure about that, actually. Hold on. Let's just double check quickly. 
the Jagriff. I don't think it was vanilla. Uh, it might have been vanilla. No, it wasn't. It's not shared. Uh, this was modded. Modded with vanilla parts. And stacking master as well. Right, let's get a solar flare. And <laughs> get back to the roulette. Yeah, it's fun, it's fun looking back every now and then. I love looking back on old creations. Go with the idiots and see when they blows up. Yes, alright then. Uh, one moment. Oh, you went through a griffin phase when you were 14. You made a fucking bootleg duo of Clark and Stanley, except they were griffins. Your friend made you make comics of them. Sammy, I need to see the comics. Clark and Stanley griffin comics? What? <laughs> right, go to the idiots. All right, then. We've got Clark, Stanley and Paulie. What is this? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Hello again! Do you want to see the explosion with us? No thanks. No? No, not? Question mark? But it's 15 seconds to the explosion. What? Oh, okay. Oh no, Sammy! Quick, get into the little room behind you fast, okay? Which has giant things. Saga, is this yours? Saga, did you make Clark and Sally adventures? Oh no, Saga. Are we about to discover your shame? That's why we don't stand near Clark and Stanley. Saga. The English was really bad. It was yours! <laughs> oh no! I rented it for you. Saga, no! <laughs> Battle for Aslantis. Saga. <laughs> you did the thing. You did the unspeakable. Right. Can I get Solstice here as like a teammate? I can! Right, if I can't play as Solstice, I may as well, or Jowie, I may as well have it with me. Come here, my team of Jowie. Fight for me. <laughs> the battle for Aslantis. That's what it said! It said Aslantis. I'm not even kidding. There you go! Aslantis! No, Alsantis. Alsantis. Oh, this is horrible. Pain. The Ashadas are trying to do, destroy a Kurzan base, and right now they're succeeding. <laughs> Go in and defeat the attack force while keeping the base intact. This is a hard mission, so hold on to your butts and don't run into a crowd of enemies like an idiot. Well, I know what I'm doing. Oh my god, the Jowie crew, I fucking love it. So, regarding reviewing other people's creations, I've always been tempted to, but I've always been afraid to. I've always been very worried about uh, offending other people. If I was to like actually give like criticism. However, saying that, I've also been wanting to do like spotlights for a long time. I would like to see other people's creations more, for sure. Okay, you're here. As Al Santos, I'm just gonna call it as <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Aslantis. Okay, you're here. At Aslantis Island. Get ready, get ready to get shot at right now. There's a hard mission, so make sure that you have a good captain and crew. And don't go all Leroy Jenkins and run in. Fuck yeah, Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> the Leroy Jenkins are shit up! Let's go! Leroy Jenkins! Well, so far I'm surviving quite nicely. Actually, no, my Jowie are dying. Jowie, don't die. Do we have any um, healing thingies? No! I lost a Joey! He's dead! Is there like any healing? Oh, it's healing right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Pog, I'm shielded. Alright, well. 
Let's go back on it then. Die, die, die. Die. Oh god, stop. Ow, frozen, stunned. What is the objective even? I'm not sure. Uh, defend the barracks, apparently. The objective is to defend the barracks. So I guess I'll just kill him. I'm, I'm just gonna stand here and wait. If they come close, so I'll just kill them. I'm drawing it every time you say Aslantis, I break out laughing. That's a redo the line art you're working on. <laughs> sorry. I'm only slightly sorry, Sobby. Your suffering feeds me. Oh, Oliver. Oh, now you're uh, now you're making me suffer. Right. Well, this is going well. Oh no, it's not. It's nearly destroyed. Um. We'll just see what happens. Oliver, can I help you, mate? Holy cow, they just blew it sky high. At least nothing too important was in there, but now they're going to attack the secondary dome. We can secure it soon, but keep fighting. And to keep fighting. Um, Oliver, that's my keyboard. <laughs> so, another combat one. I'm thinking we just AFK the end. Oliver? Oliver? Can I help you, mate? He's just like nuzzling my hand repeatedly. Hello? Oh. Die! You can always have people submit to Creation Studios so you don't have to worry about so much offending people since they are, uh, since the submitting would understand what they're getting into. They wouldn't know. So kids, you know, it's a very good idea, but uh, if it was to be like a YouTube video thing, then people would just, they, they'd just submit it anyway without thinking about it and just, you know, oh, I want to be on video, I want to be on video, you see? And then, you know, cry if they get offended or something. It'd be great on Discord, not as so much on YouTube. However, like I said though, I've still been wanting to do that kind of stuff anyway. Not necessarily. Uh, not that, not that I want to, you know, shit talk people's creations, but I've always has, I've always have, always have wanted to do some kind of feedbacky thing. Sorry, got a tongue tied there. One thing I've always wanted to do was a spotlight. I've always wanted to feature someone, like every week or every month. But then I, uh, for the longest time, I got worried about people being, uh, you know, nitpicky. Um, for a bit of context, back in the early days of sport, it was very common where people would uh, be very sensitive about, you know, other people using their content. Oliver's licking my hand. Oh, you are giving me the evilest look. Hello. Sorry, I'm very distracted. I've got Oliver just staring right at me and licking my hand. It's kind of intimidating. I'm just going to run around in circles and just attack things while Oliver does this. Oh, hi! Oh, that's that's my chest. Hello. That's my microphone. Oliver. Hello. He's just like all over the desk going back and forth. And we're, we're winning the mission. I don't know how, but we're winning the adventure. This definitely is not a very hard one at all. Just another long, tedious one. Oliver, what are you doing? Okay, it's attacking my hand again. So, pardon me. Um, gonna clear my thoughts for a moment. To go back to the earlier topic regarding uh, doing spotlights and such, I've always wanted to do spotlights, but in the earlier days of the sport community, I remember they used to be considered very bad manners and people would get very upset and angry if you use their creations without that permission. That was a very common thing back in the day. So for a very long time, I've always been very paranoid of doing spotlights because I technically I'm monetizing off their creations on YouTube videos, technically speaking. But, you know, it's been a couple of years since uh, any of that happened. I'm thinking now I'm probably going to get over it and might do it anyway because I've always wanted to feature other people. I. I actually don't like that my channel is all about me. I don't know that might sound a little bit strange. 
but I really would like to be more keen to stuff and I'm just not a big fan of it being, you know, 100% my own content when there's so much people could do in Spore. Take Doom, for example. Doom, he does absolutely crazy creations and he's so unknown. I mean, he's known in the Spore community, but he's not known in the YouTube community. If that makes any sense at all. So maybe I will just, you know, say fuck it one day and get back to doing it. More like hybrid video spotlights, maybe. Maybe, maybe. You contract the individual to submit creations that they are proud of, yeah. But it's like, um... That's why I want to do spotlights themselves, is because there's so many creators who aren't around anymore. Like, you guys probably won't recognise any of these names, but it's people from back in the day like Endeavour, like, um, Vedafan, Himmerslob, rest in peace, uh, who else? Zavantes, Warboss, Psychic Hazard, there's so many names of old creators that you guys probably have never heard of. And they're the kind of people who aren't around anymore, but are still are such an inspiration now. Oliver, can I- Hi! He's on my face! Well, he's like, standing on the keyboards and he's- it's, it's like- What are you doing? Okay, he's on my lap now. He's being very close contact today. Yeah, Maver, I thought you'd recognise them. Yeah, you're you're old school as well. You know exactly who they all are. But that's my point being, and of course you know Maver, you're like you yourself as well. These are all the kind of people that I think even now today, despite a lot of them having not created anything for like ten years now, they're still huge inspirations and I'd love to go do spotlights of them. But for a long time I always got very paranoid because people get like really eh, you can't use my things, eh, me, me. But I might just say fuck it. So yeah, sorry, a bit of a, um, that was a bit of a splurge. A bit of a rant, sorry about that. <laughs> I've got Oliver, who's just uh, standing on the keyboard, kneading my lap, so I'm a little bit distracted. <laughs> right, anyway. Oh, the, the, the character just said, oh, I feel like I'm going to die, go away. Okay, well that character's not very happy. Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, nothing apparently. I guess he's just beaming up then. Oliver, hello. He's just climbing up on me. This is very unusual. I'm making it kind of hard to see my monitor. So, after destroying the Ashuna's attack force and saving the base, the battle's finally won. The base... <laughs> Hold on. The base commander would congratulate you if his face wasn't burnt. Good work anyways. How was that 83 points? That was not a hard adventure at all. By Dontron. That was not hard at all. Ah, huh, fair enough then. And, oh, I'm gonna do a different one. Yeah, exactly, I do agree regarding Doom. He definitely is like, very underrated. Let me just scroll back a little bit then. So, Sami said, do a similar format to last hybrid videos, but you only pick interesting creations. That would be a good one as well. Like I guess doing like a combination of um, sub submissions and spotlights. Just to just do more in general. Like I said, I stand by what I said earlier. I don't like that my channel's 100% me. Especially for sport content. I feel like it could be so, so much more varied. The Wonderbug Wonder Cannon. Oh. Behold the new Wonderbug Wonder Cannon with the Canon is state-of-the-art Canon technology, maybe uses a template. Alright then. Oliver's back on the desk, I think he's finally settled down. <laughs> yeah, like I said, he was very distracting. So sorry if I like lost my rhythm. Oliver. See the wonderful Wonderbug Cannon. To start the cannon, simply press the button right right next to it. Um There's a beeping. And the cannon does its magic, and when you're finished blowing stuff up, beam out. Note, if you want to see more detail, turn on, turn off the adventure look. What the hell? What happened? It's not working. Track me! Yes, get, get coffee. Coffee is good. Coffee is very good. Goodbye!
Does it do it automatically? Oh, yep, it's automatic. Well, that's interesting. Yeet. Oh, well, okay, that's, that's something that's good. Oh, has. Yeah, do show me that. I'd love to see that, please. We got a new Lego creator. And the Wonderbug Cannon makes it another wonderful show. Wonderful. Wonderbar. Right, well, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> Chuck, have a wonderful day, mate, and take care of yourself. Hi, we'll hopefully see you later. Solitude 24, war. No thanks. The most impossible adventure. Guys, shall we play the most impossible adventure? Who here thinks? In fact, you know what I should do more often? Predictions. I, I, I need to use these features more on Twitch. Like, Twitch has been adding a lot of new features lately and I really should abuse them. So, will this adventure truly be impossible yes no start a prediction oh wait hold on <laughs> it should appear in the top i think it will not be impossible personally <laughs> the most impossible adventure ever I hope it's not one of mine. I hope it's not an old adventure that I made. <laughs> Let's see then. What? Someone finished it. I know. Guys, I got it. I got it. I got it. I know what to do. Done. Done. Not impossible. <laughs> Skabazzed. <laughs> there you go. Not impossible. I even unlocked the thing. <laughs> right, Pog, we'll just grab. Oh no, grab that one, doesn't really matter. Ah, there you go then. Pog. Well then, in the end, the outcome was was it truly impossible? No, it was not impossible. So, congrats to those who voted no. And I think that means that some of you win points. <laughs> like I said, I really should use that more often. Oh, um, I need to, oh, no, never mind. We've already done that one. <laughs> I know, right, Sai, I loved it too. Chain and the, wait, Chain and Flame the movie. Chain and Flame the movie. Okay, that sounds interesting. There we go, cup of tea. Right, no description. So one thing I've come to notice here is that if an adventure has no description or no intro text, normally it's a quick and easy one. <laughs> At least most of the time anyway. Excreting gastroderm gastrodermical system. Oh, lovely. This sounds like something a Somi does in a spare time, excreting gastrodermical systems. I'm in a cave! Ooh, nice one, Saki. What have they done now? Welcome to the movie. Uh, is, isn't it stupid to build a movie building in a, ho in a hole? Wait, hold on. Isn't it stupid to build a movie building in a hole? Talk to Flame. Goblins. Okay. <laughs> what? Wow! 
Oh, oh hello! We are watching on a we watching on a movie. Do you know what? We were building a mine, but I get an idea. Why not build this movie building? It can't happen in something in here. Question mark. Or can it? What? Um. Oh, looks like the hole failed. No, looks like the hole the hole formed. And it's a goblin rocket. Mwahahaha. <laughs> oh. Run. Move to extraction points. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Poor chain and flame. By Hurtigan. Okay. That was a. Uh, that was good. That was good. I love it too. <laughs> I I love it too. Was a saga again? I actually was wondering if it was saga. I'm sorry, Saka. Into the groove. It is zero hour. I have been summoned by the wall to serve the Cyro and Cedarbrix Empire until I die. My mission is to aid the Cedarbrix Archdruid on Southern Terranarynx. Rumor has it that the magic will play a big part while I'm there. Defeat is invalid. Damn. Defeat is invalid. <laughs> Why does that remind me of Dominate? <laughs> Defeat is invalid. It has baby sobby adventure vibes. I need to see your adventures. I forgot to download them. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry. I I, I just love adventures in bad English. Like I don't I don't mean to make fun of them, but there's just something special about adventures with bad English. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna click a couple cookies for a moment. Hey guys! I can't show you because Oliver's face is on the stream deck, but we are at. Hold on. I am officially at one non nilian Oh, reindeer. <laughs> one non nilian cookies. Uh, don't mind the reindeer. <laughs> Just perfect timing, random. Right, well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Pizza candy. Let's find out then what happens here. <laughs> Welcome to Terra Narynx, a home of the Celebrex Empire and many other species form in guilds and clans. The prophecy has begun. This might be a long one. Right. What is this called? Uh, who is this by? I'm going to start checking these from now on. Uh, who is this adventure actually by? Let me have a quick little look. Uh, the Groove. Next up, Mong uh, Mongolian, because who needs a number that bloody big? Well, actually, uh, so in Cookie Clicker, you can disable small numbers and it will just start doing it into multiples of E. Or like E, uh, I can't remember the actual term, but like E values of numbers. Iron Syro. Eh, Iron Syro. I don't know if he does like big adventure stories. Let's give us this one a go. Exponents. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Exponents. Let's give this one a go. Hopefully, it won't be too big of a one. So, talk to the North Wind Guard. Ah! Okay. Stop. You may go no further. I was sent by the Con Conrux. I was sent by Conrux Empire here. I heard you got some problem that needs Conrux text. Ah, yes, yeah, so a captain who's in it for the glory. Very well. Cross through the tunnel and meet with Ivar on the other side. He's an astro leading the expedition. Keep in mind these Narynx watchers are neutral, but the hills are crawling with enemies who are willing to do anything to stop our mission here. Okay.
We have Ivar, the arch druid. Is there any really battles like an arch druid? Uh, Ivar, question mark? Well, since you know my name, you must be one of the co- uh, excuse me. Well, since you know my name, you must be the one Conrick sent. There is no more time to waste, so I'll get to the point on what we're here for. Our main goal is to reclaim the ancient lands of the southern Terra Narynx. In order to do what- in order to do that, I'm going to try and revive the ancient guardian who roamed these lands thousands of years ago. Her name is Terranar, and she's a sort of demigod in a form of a bog creature. So we need a flask of celestial sulfur if we are to if we are to succeed. I know this sounds crazy, but it's the only way. The only one who has the flask is Tekan, an alchemist living over there in a place filled with flora. Go and retrieve the flask while we clear the way to where Terranar has fallen. Go. It seems straightforward. The expedition camp, we've got the wild grove, Tekken's sanctuary. Mongolian guard screams. <laughs> oh, healing plant. Pog. Oh, this is kind of cute actually, I like it. Oh, interior? Nope. This is a cute little uh, area, I like how it's got a pile of treasure, just catch. Ivor, Ivor, I told you. Oh, apologies, I thought you were someone. Um, who the hell are you? No time to explain. Ivor sent me to deliver a flask of celestial sulfur to, hi to him ASAP. Oh gods, for the last time, I don't have it. His rival ways are going to bring chaos to these lands, and I have enough visitors trying to steal my riches these days. But, I'm guessing you're not going to leave without the flask, the way you're staring at me. Ah, fine. I can create the flask, but you're going to have to get your hands, hands dirty. The flask is difficult. So listen carefully. And in several fungal and mustylos, few thompeticus essence, and one eternal tussle. They are scattered around the place, but watch out for bog creatures, they're territorial. Terry territor territorial. Territorial. I like it. Okay, so just a gather mission. I'll tell you the ingredients required for the fast. Keep an eye out for bog ravages. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get all this. You never know, it might be quick and painless. So far it is actually, it's quite quick and painless. Yum. Okay. Oh, apparently I ran past something around here. Right there. You know how younger you abuse dominates younger me abuse territory? <laughs> Sorry, that's such a bad sentence, how younger me abuse dominates. <laughs> Although you're not wrong. So you abuse territory, eh? Oh, Sami, were you, were you a territorial person? Actually, you probably were. I can see you being very territorial when you're younger. Did you like used to hiss at people? I know you did something. I can't remember what, what it was, but you told me about it. Right, we've got the eternal tussle already. We have all of the fungal and moose and now we just need the thumpticus, the thumpticus essence. Which is these big pink bubbly things. Okay, that's good to know. Dominate the terror for it. Did young somebody go mine? I think she did. Used to roleplay as a dragon and chase other people while screaming territory at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Just screaming territory. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, Sami. <laughs> I love that. Okay, go back to Tekken and receive the flask. Travel onto the road to the Valley of the Guardians and deliver the flask to Ivar. This has been a nice straightforward one so far. Right, so we have a flask of celestial soup, I think. Celestial soup flask. And we're gonna go give it to, to this guy all the way over here. Dead us yelled territory while roaring and throwing sand at the other children. <laughs> Oh my god, Sami, you're the best. Dominate the territory is fancy and foreign. Ah, Jesus, these are fancy and foreign. Leave me alone. Ow. Motherfucker. Suck my dick. Oi, Ivor, help. I do like the map. 
Yes, this map is good. I do enjoy the um, the scenery. Gods above the sulfur flask. Well done indeed. I assume Tekken will not be joining us. Yeah. Anyway, I thought you cleared the path. Some of them am ambushed me on the road. What? I thought we did. Well, that can only mean one thing. They're planning to raid us any moment now. Time is of the essence, my friend. I'm going to have to prepare for the ceremony. I have a special assignment for you at the Centaur Glades. Centaurs! We all <laughs> we need all the help that we can get. I'll open up a portal to the Glades and I want you to speak with their warden. See if you can convince her to join the cause. Ah! Can you, can you like, can you take the flask? Oi, Ivor. Ivor. Thanks. I uh, talk to the alchemist. Uh, where- Oh, I didn't talk to the alchemist! Shit! One moment. Ah! Jesus! Draki. That is a good question. That is a good question. I think maybe. What context would it be used in though? That's the thing. <laughs> actually, no, I think people make up context. I think I'd be a good emote actually. Right, so this is a little bit um, off, off, uh, off the rails because I did this in the wrong order. <gasps> Ale! Brilliant, this is everything I needed. Good enough, good enough not for one, but for several flasks. We'll take only, uh, we'll take only one and good luck with your fantasy, Captain. I'm sure Ivor discovered by now that is chasing a ghost in the woods. So what, you're just gonna sit there with your plants and do nothing? You should at least help us take care of the hill raiders. Let me think. Nope, I have no desire to help the cause, uh, help aid the cause of this meaningless warfare. As long as I have a deal with the hill raiders, you know what? Wait, as long as I have a deal with the hill raiders, just get the hell out of here, please. Wow, he's a douche. Douche canoe. Anyway. Yeah, sorry, I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> My mistake. So, we're now meant to go and deliver the flask of the ancestral soup, whatever, whatever it was, to the um, to Ivor. And then we go to the Centaur Glades. Right. So here we are over here then. Energy plant. Meanwhile, Oliver is blocking half my monitor. So thank you, Oliver. There's a lot of energy plants all around here. Let's go through the portal. Wait, where is the portal? Right there. That looks kind of portal-like. You see, guys, that giant purple portal right there. When I'm looking at this right here, Oliver's fat head blocking it. You don't really have a fat head. I love you, cat. I love you. But you are blocking my monitor. Right then. Go through the portal to the Centaur Glade and create an alliance with the Centaurs. I'm going to create an alliance with the Centaurs. She's got a cool set. Interesting. Right, anyway. There's a lot of Centaurs all around here. Uh, so where do I go? Who do I talk to? Over here, apparently. I like this uh, fancy looking area. It's, it's Different. It's interesting. Whimsical. Oh god, okay. Um, the leader was just bouncing on their ass. Good to know. A tracky, that's a good question. I'll find out afterwards. They definitely are pretty pretty decent creations, to be honest. You there, who are you and what is your business? I come on behalf of the Archer and Ivor. We don't have much time to, uh, we don't have much time, so I'll get straight to it. Ivar is trying to resurrect Terranar and the hills and the hill is about to be overrun by Gorak hunters. So we need your... Oh, of course, the time has come. We've been waiting for this for centuries and now a little captain presents himself with our life destiny to do anything it takes to have our lands nourished. Once again, the Celestial Garden will wander the lands of Terranarynx and we shall have peace. I will assemble my forces through the portal. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, just the last several messages in the chat. <laughs> oh no. I mean, yes, but no. Also, Sami, um, relatable. I was also very bad at, uh, you know, making sure that things actually worked. <laughs> and a lot of adventures were impossible. Right, well, I went the wrong way. 
for some silly reason, I forgot that there was a portal, and I could see on the mini map I had to go north, and I decided to forget that there was a portal. So, let's go the correct direction then. Meanwhile, Oliver is still blocking half the monitor. I thought you'd like a little cat update there. And staring at me angrily. You're on my way, cat. I'm not in your way. He's really staring at me angrily. Right. Where's Ivar? There he is. Well, I guess this is it. This is it, my friends. A celestial sulfur has spent... Uh, excuse me. Well, I guess this is it, my friends. A celestial sulfur has been spent and now it needs time for the ritual to complete. Here they come. Go and stop them. Keep them away from me. I cannot be interrupted. Two arms! Oh, I've got four minutes. I'm just going to watch. Most of the time, the AI is ca capable of doing it itself, so I'm just going to sit here and watch. Yeah, me too, Sammy. Me too. Hello? Okay, well, that was cool. He just floated. You're right there. You're right. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing good. I think he's doing good, guys. I think he's alright. That was Ivar, his hand is fine. Oh, right, I still can't see. Okay, Oliver, I love you, but you're too in the way. Yeah, move on, cat. There we go. Come on. Oliver, I don't, I don't make a cute little sound at me. You're the one that's in the way. There we go, he's gone now. I don't know if you heard the sound he made, but he just went like a really high pitched, like, yeah. Meanwhile, how's Ivar doing? His health is fine. I've got no idea where he is. He's probably fine. Oh, there he is. He's definitely fine. God, they are just running. They love running up cliffs, don't they? Free. What the hell? Why are you frozen? Freaky frozen statue thing. I've got two and a quarter minutes left. This has been a quite a decent adventure. This one's been like nice and very um, direct, which is better for a roulette. An Alicorn Centaur Dragon. I've never thought about it. An Alicorn Centaur Dragon. That could be really cool or really cursed. Hmm, interesting. Actually, be mine, mine meld. Oh my god, the screaming! Why is there so much screaming? It's just horrible when you hear it! Alright, one and a half minutes to go. And we're stuck in the weird dead thing. Oh, don't you love spore combat? Slash, 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 slashy, slash, slash. It is a slash, 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 slashy, slash, slash. And I'm gonna get a blue energy plant. Yeet. Oh my god. I agree, it's definitely not a spore adventure without a horde screaming. Perfect. Uh, why? Why would that be the case? Right, we're nearly done. Thirty seconds, so we can finally move on. We're gonna slash all these things. A slash you, slash you, slash. We're gonna slash the mobs. All oh, right, I see the chat was bugged. Yeah, it's annoying when that happens. I hate chat bugs. There we go. Four, three, two, one. Huzzah! 
finished the- Oh, hello! J why? Hi! That's not okay! God, it's like me in the morning. I don't like it. Oh, my, mine is a hairy back. I do not have a hairy back. I take it back. It's not me in the morning at all. Oh no, I am fleeing. And I've landed on his ankle. And a slash, slash, slash. Lightning strike and slash. And a slash, slash, slash. Lightning strike and slash. Bam, 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 bam. And we are done. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I hate your face. Oh, I hate the way it animates. It's so weird. And swarm. Whee! And it's a slash, 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 and a slash, slash, slash. Lightning strike and slash. That's Jeremy. <laughs> I think actually it's Ale in the morning. Who here thinks this is what Ale actually looks like? Mate, he's too funny. Ale is too funny. You must be cursed IRL. I'm completely joking. You're obviously not. Uh, yes, it does have one foot that is smaller than the other, and the feet are pointed inwards as well. Lovely. And oh, the other one's killed. They finished the third one for me. All right, then, Ivar, mate, your ritual is complete. You have done the things and the stuff and that. The Guardian Queen, she is real. My ritual, I did it. In your face, Tekken, wherever he might be. What now? Now, my friend, we have power in defense. One chapter closes and another opens. So begins the restoration of Terra Narynx. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's obviously a multiple part one. Can you imagine being the person who voice acted Simlish? I have protected the ritual. Now I'll take some time to decide if I join if joining Ivar's crusade is an excellent solution. Cool, that was good. I like that one. Oh, you like it? Museum, we've already seen museum. Meanwhile. Okay. Just buy. Uh, I don't want to buy anything. I'm gonna buy that. No, I don't want to buy that. Buy that. Oh, actually, <gasps> molecular stage. This is one of mine. Molecular stage. I don't remember how this pans out. The long lost molecular atomic stage here for you to play. This is my own take on the stage. Might not be great, but it's a start. This is one of my earlier adventures. I don't remember anything about this. Don't remember it at all. Oh god. Oliver, go away. I love you, cat, but you're being obnoxious. There we go. The long lost molecular atomic stage here for you to play. Fuse yourself with atoms around you. Why is there a timer? Become fuse. Fusion. Wait, why was that time? What happened? That was weird. Well, let's go ahead then and become fusion. So we've just collected a bunch of hydrogen atoms. Next up, we're going to collect a bunch of hydrogen and carbon. Whee! Which look like floating brains, by the way. They do not look like atoms, they're like floating brains. Bam, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Collect carbon. Which is these grey ones over here. And next up, we need to fuse ourselves with hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. I like how the atoms are screaming and howling. <laughs> this is okay. I feel like I could do this ten times better. Dominate! <laughs> Dominate the <laughs> periodic table. I must fuse and become the biggest, um, the biggest compound. 
My bindings are not enough for you. I must bind to more. Gain more mass. Become life. I need one more nitrogen. Oh god, fire! Where's one more nitrogen? Right there. Come on! Can I? Oi, nitrogen, come here. Oi, nitrogen. Oi, nitrogen! Please! Let me dominate you! Hello? Why? Why? Wait, why? Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Jesus. Now we get to need to get some more carbon and oxygen atoms. Whee! Oh god. Move. This music is actually really calming with this. Like, it feels like it's, you know, honestly like the beginning of a new dawn. Actually, you know what? What is this music? I want to keep this in mind for later. Hold on. I could use that for something in the future. Give me, give me one second. Um, give me one moment. There we go. Right, anyway. It, yeah, it is surprisingly fitting. I agree with that. We need one more oxygen atom, which is... That's, that's not it. We need oxygen, which is these brown ones. Three. And then for the final task, we need to fuse ourselves with molecules. It doesn't say what molecules they are. We just need them. It'd be interesting if, like compound like grew in size Sai you what <laughs> what there we go and we'll grab that one over here grab that there we go three more compounds This would be fun to remake. It'd be very simple. And the final compound has been collected. And we have become primitive micro microscopic life with a tongue. If we do it's like a brain. Well done. Now you have enough particles and atoms to form into a cell. Oh, well, there you go then. That's my old molecular stage. I've actually not seen that one in years. Do you get the feeling, looking at Thrive, that they kind of wanted to integrate the idea of molecular stage and combine it with cell? Yes. Yes. I feel like... Yeah, basically. They've gone like really, really hardcore and it's really cool to see. It's very, very cool to see what Thrive are doing, but you are right though. They've like really integrated their molecular and cell, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But the terminology is hard to follow. I... It's such a shame, right? With Thrive, I really want to play it. I really want to check it out. But whenever I see like trailers and videos of it, I feel so dumb reading it. And it's actually kind of sad because it's great that they want it to be educational. I really respect that. But God, I feel like such a dumbass when I look at like all the different words and wonder like, oh, how would I pronounce that in a video? Oh uh, no, I did not finish the fast food race. I'm actually going to restart the fast food race. So I realized a while ago, uh, with the fast food race that i was just at the aquatic stage trying too hard i was doing too much so at some point i'm just gonna reboot it i'm gonna scrap the whole you know multiple biome idea and i'm just gonna make it like a remaster not a remake if that makes any sense yeah okay because i i found i got really put off with it i got put off and i couldn't figure out why and then i did figure out why it was because i was trying too much uh, with that being said, I also want to change the uh, aquatic stage. I want to make another new one. I know, another, another one. But again, the aquatic stage, way too much. I did way too much in it. So yeah. That'll be on the table. At some point, I'll do that. Exactly, keep it simple and cute. I still really want to use a lot of the props that Maver made. But I'm not going to try to incorporate all of them this time. I think that's what I did last time. So I want to try and make uh, add as many of what he made as possible. Whereas I think that may have uh, been why I was trying to overcomplicate it. Because he made like, he made like such an awesome variety. 
Whereas, if I just focus on like a more simplistic form of it and just make it like into a city race again, I think it'd be better. Uh, yeah, another community project. Well, technically, the fast food race is still a community project, but just not a lot of people really did anything for it, which is okay. That's completely fair. Oh, excuse me. But um, yeah, rambling aside, <laughs> not finished. We'll be rebooting it. Professor Griblo. Nope. Icy Fallout template. Okay. Let's see what this one's about. Oh no, Jackie! That sucks! So, this is obviously not going to be a playthrough. This one's just going to be checking out what someone's made. It should hopefully be quite cool and interesting to see. Oh. And, uh, you know, <laughs> meanwhile... Cookies! Oh, by the way, uh, fun fact. So, not only do I have Crumble or the Cookie Dragon, I've also got Final Claws. Uh, turns out my Santa Claus ascended into a fucking overseer. <laughs> so I've got Crumblaw and Final Claws. I have pets, I guess, or companions. I'm not really sure what we'd call it. Oh, here we go. Into a beholder. That's it. Yes, a beholder, not an overseer. <laughs> right, so this is a template for an icy Fallout city. Which, ooh, is eerie and dark. I like it. Okay. That's a good use of the um, smoke. I've ne I never knew how to use a small smoke. That's a really nice use for it. Cthulhu claws. This is cool. Huh. Oh, wait, hold on. I like it, it's got like all the green um, green containers. As if it's like holding more, you know, like radioactive pollutant. Should we have a bit of a look around? Bunch of really cool looking turrets. Damn, those turrets look awesome. What the hell? This is a cool little thing as well. Another tr uh, truck, I think, or tank. Yeah. It's cozy. This looks nice. I like the look of this. It's very desolate. Definitely feels very desolate and barren, which is really good. It's what you want for like a kind of fallout scene. Did I just go in a big circle? I don't think I did actually. No, I didn't. Wow, I really like the look of this. This is really cool. We've got another crashed, what do we call it, down there? This reminds me of Dominate and I hate it. It reminds me of Dominate. God damn it. And, uh, yeah. Basically all there really is to see around here. Damn, I love the turrets. That looks so cool, like so mechanical. Huh, cool. Well, there you go then. What is Cookie Clicker? Uh, so cookie clicker is, yeah, you, you, you click until you get things, that's true. Cookie clicker is not a game I'd recommend. Uh, another by Iron Syro, I thought it was. As I was going to say, uh, cookie clicker is not a game I'd recommend. I only want it because I'm a slap for achievements. I love achievements. And uh, this game appeals. Um, I have an auto clicker. <laughs> it turns out a lot of people use auto clickers. A uh, fun fact, when I downloaded this, it said it had a million installs in the last week. <laughs> because Cookie Clickers, Clickers got like popular again. It had a million installs in the last week. So I just used this to click for me, as you can see. But uh, yeah, no, it's just no, not really much to it, to be honest. You just collect, you upgrade, you go and go and go and go again. It's got lovely music. Uh, let me actually pause the music for a second. Some of you might recognise this song, or this uh, music in the background. Isn't that chill? Ah, now just imagine you're just playing along to this. It was surprisingly, like when I first 
heard music for the first time, which is surprisingly relaxing. It's by C4... I can't remember the name, but the guy who did the Minecraft music. And I don't remember his name. C4 something. There you go. C418, that's it, thank you. Yes, uh, that is the guy who made the cookie, cookie clicker music. And it's just really nice and chill. It's definitely a nice, um, just like, game to have in the background. I've been enjoying it because while I've been sick for the last week, it was just really nice to just kind of melt my mind with. But now I'm setting over achievements. Like, uh, there's 532 achievements and I've just been collecting them all. <laughs> because I am a slut for achievements. <laughs> Speaking of which, I still need to finish a few games like Horizon. I still not got all the achievements in Horizon yet. Or Ori for that matter. Yeah, it oh, I forgot to put the music back on. There we go. Yeah, it does have Minecraft music vibes. But yeah, it's definitely like an AFK having a background kind of game. Definitely not like anything with any compelling story. It's got some funny moments in it. Right, I think this is another template. Welcome. Yep, it's another template. Talk to Mr. Bomb. Is it a template? Oh, uh, it's got a big cool looking uh, village. That is cool. Okay, Mr. Bomb. Hello there. Oh god. That was horrible. Hi there! Create a cannonball in- wait. Step 1. Create a cannonball in creature editor. Step 2. Build a cannon in the building editor. Step 3. Put an jumper on the cannon and then put the cannonball there. P.S. The cannonball must have 1 HP. Step 4. Put an explosive mine a little bit uh, from the jumper and then the cannonball creature will jump and hit the explosive mine and his corpse will fly away. What? <laughs> what? Okay. I want to see it. So we just watch their corpses fly away, apparently? Is that what's happening inside here? Ow! Fuck, it just flew in the front of it. No, okay then. I guess it was a, uh, excuse me. I understand it was, it was a tutorial. It was just the whole watching his corpse fly away part was what got me. I just wasn't prepared to hear about the corpses flying. Uh, but yes, we did just get a tutorial in a adventure. That is correct. Uh, quite a few people have done it, actually, including Max's Cactus, which was one of the uh, which was the original community um, representative. I miss Cactus. She was a, she was a good person. Um. Okay, saw me. I'm really late, but I just saw what you posted to me. The Jawi X has such a short body. It reminds me of this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Meanwhile, we're still just uh, downloading. <laughs> and Haz, I just saw what you said as well about the showcasing. Thank you very much, Haz. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for whatever this is to download. Meanwhile, cupcakes! <laughs> Somi looks like, uh, wait, Somi looks like that too, to be honest. Oh god. Poor Somi. Mech Madness version 2, we're at Mech Madness. No, Jackie, same! Oh, same! I so wish that was a thing. Oh, Hydrate, that's a very good shout, actually. Thank you. Mech showcase in epic proportions made of that TNT. Your final creation for the time being. Oh, okay then. Who's this by? The 
This is another showcase one. A mega build by the sounds of it. Alright then, Gabby, have a wonderful day. And take care of yourself. Well, Ale, so back when we were still new to Soul Traps, I was going over the config uh, with Draki and a couple other people in the voice chat. I think it was with Draki and Loki. And as I was going over the config and like all the different settings I can enable, <laughs> there's one setting called Trap Corpses. And we didn't understand it. We were really, really confused. And we were just wondering, damn me, that we can summon corpses at people? So we, were all, we all just lost it. We just imagined throwing soul orbs at each other and just like just having giant like bronto corpses materialize in front of people like with physics and everything it turns out it actually means to resurrect the creature it's a resurrection tool which is neat but um we <laughs> we still wish we could throw corpses with soul traps i mean could you imagine that could you imagine just like a brand new person on the server. You run over to them. You throw a soul orb at them. It's a fucking titanosaur corpse. Which is like with its physics and its spaghettiing just all over the poor new person. It would have been so good. Yeah, we're going to eat so many corpses. But like I said, turns out it was a resurrection tool instead. And uh, it was a lot less interesting. <laughs> right then. Oh, hello. So this, I believe, is a mega build. Oh, there's a lot of mechs in here. That's really cool. Welcome to the mech factory. Feel free to take a look around. This is the AUH Scorpion. The AUL Har Harbing Harbinger. <laughs> Harbinger. Oh, this is already kind of cool, actually. I like this. The AUL Havoc with glowing nipples. The AL the AUL Kaiser. And there's two portals. Let's go check this one here first. Oh wow! I think this is by Neld. Oh that's really cool. <gasps> Lumkey! Why hello there, Lumkey, and welcome! Oh no, Saki. That's a shame, but welcome back, though. And Myrtle, I agree. I ended up uh, disabling the res thing immediately after. But yeah, we, we wish it was like a something uh, what we first thought it was. This is really cool, though. This is amazing. I think it's by Neld. Neld 2. And there was two of them, apparently. There were two portals. So was, that's one of them. And let's go check out the other one. No, no, I'm wrong. That's just the um, the return point. Oh, okay, then. So this is it, then. This is the mega build. It's cool, though. It's very cool. I like it. All right, well, there we go, then. How you doing, Lumkey? <laughs> Bloody chicken dance every time. I could get a mod that changes the uh, dance animations. Sleepy? No. It was by Neld. Uh, Neld, Neld 2D. That's what it was. Neld 2D. Next one! As I spam cookies. We need Fortnite dancers. Hey. Hey. Be careful what you wish for. I can't see because Oliver's in the way. Uh, what adventure is this? Oliver. Hello, mate. Uh, actually, I I can't see. Oh, eggs and eggs and omelets. What the hell? <laughs> I actually couldn't see because Oliver was in the way. Eggs and omelets. Interesting. Um. Well, before we look at that, so I'm gonna show you guys something shameful. Let's pause the music. I'm going to show you something shameful. Now, this was going to be a short I was going to share on YouTube, but I'm kind of scared to share it, so I'm going to show it with you guys here. Because it's like a private, exclusive viewing. The title is Sport Has Sport Modding Gone Too Far.
There you go, Saki. That was just for you. That was just for you. And yes, I have found Earth in Spore. Let's go play eggs and omelets. Where's the Jowie one? I am not. I am not making the Jowie do a Fortnite dance. I'm just not gonna do it. Olly lolly. Maya Splack from Pilksy Empire's called you. He needs your help to find the eggs and not any Easter eggs, real ones. Someone has stilled them all. Who can be behind it? And can you put the eggs back in one places? In one pieces? Huh. Default dancing banana is your favourite. What on earth is this adventure? Eggs and omelettes. Right, this is, I have a feeling this one's going to be a trip. Oh, meanwhile. Great. May as well try this. Let's see. Do I get a big awesome bonus? Oh shit, I do actually. Crap. Oh, I know none of you are going to know what this means, but I just got a really, 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 really good buff. Like a really amazing sick one. Look at them. The, oh, look, look at the dandelions rise. Oh shit, no. Look at the dandelions. Big numbers. Fuck. Look at it grow. <laughs> it's a good buff. Yeah, the click frenzy one's fucking amazing. It's like the best one you could possibly get. And there we go. That's uh, 23 nonillion cookies. Just, just cash, you know. Standard. As one does. Oh shit. There we go. Right then. People are in hurry. But so should you be. May awaits you and it is Easter. Talk with Maya Spiak and to hear more about the situation. Then go inside the main building and explore. Ah, soon these streets will be full of screaming childs and smoking teenagers. Damn. Okay. Sun shines and everything is just fine. What is going on here? So we have to find the mayor, I think it said. Good day, sir or lady. Hard to tell. Wow, okay. It just assumed my gender. I can't believe he's done this. That's a cute little creature though, actually. The looks cool. Captain, I presume. Welcome to City of Spyak. Well, our city's always named by Mayor of it, and I love it. But now the real problem. Someone has stealed our eggs. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone has stealed our eggs. I love it. And I'm not talking about any Easter eggs. No, I mean our eggs that have an baby inside. And now you say it's nothing special, just do not. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about any Easter eggs. I mean, our eggs that have an baby inside. And now you say it's nothing special, just do more. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm combining this. Okay, no context. <laughs> I'm gonna no context at the moment. <laughs> we <g> we <laughs> can't. Thanks to strange effects of our gas giant parents, our females can lay eggs only once a year. And another strange thing is we that we can't know when females lay e lay the eggs. I need to read this again. Our females can lay eggs only once a year, and nothing. And another strange thing is that we we can't know when females lay the eggs. Well, yesterday it happened, and happily, I said to people, "Tomorrow, come to Plaza, and everyone can get their own egg baby." <laughs> but today, I noticed they weren't in the chamber anymore. <laughs> Go and explore the chamber where the eggs were and the females are now resting and talk with Doctor. He can give you some more info. Oh my god. I love it. I, I love it. Calm down, lady. It's not that bad. Oh, she just vomited. 
It's horrible just to watch someone to die. Oh my god, what is going on? I don't like this. Hello, Captain. I'm the head doctor and I'm leaving this hospital. Quotation marks. Do you know why it's important that you find the eggs? Without them, we won't get more females. Don't scream, but after female Pilxy lay the eggs, she dies. And well, now we're just waiting here. Without females, no more people to the city. And we have only two cities at this planet. I heard that they had the same problem. And to be honest, I think that they stole our eggs. Take a better look at this chamber. I think there's something strange about the back wall with the painting. Everything will be okay, okay? I feel a little bit uncomfortable, like... That's all the females are here for, is just to lay eggs and die? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, by the way, real talk, this is a fucking good cave. You'd be surprised, caves are really hard to make, it's probably the best cave I've ever seen. Right, we've got some Pixyros, which are also vomiting. Alright. Hmm. You're somewhere close to another city. Maybe you could talk with the local mayor and find out if they were the egg thieves. <laughs> uh, yeah, Saga. Right. Let's go find then. We got Captain Tesk. That captain will, will cause me problems. Oh, there's another captain. I thought you got him neat. Oh, there's an egg right there. Talk to Mayor Piston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dude. We don't need another captain. I recalled one already. Wait, you're working for Spiak? That city stole our eggs? We haven't done anything against that puny city, but they must have done. I'm sending this other captain with some warriors to get the eggs back. If you try to stop them, they have permission to shoot you, capital letters. Stay here or leave, but don't do anything stupid. What? Okay, we found an egg. Your captain. What is this? An egg? But didn't you say that they were stolen? There were only two left, but they were but there were over 100 first. That's a lot of dead women. <laughs> Wait, there was two eggs. Now there's only one. Okay, you. You get an job. Find the other egg. It's my son or daughter. I don't know. What? Now you're in trouble. Find the mayor's egg and try to find the thief. <laughs> Oliver. I need to find the other egg. Screw you. Okay, screw you back. Um, damn thieves. And we once called them brothers. And you'd be working for them. Okay. These people are so spiky, I hurt my finger. What? Okay, so... Where would the egg be then? I want to find... an golden easter egg. Ow! Rude. Okay, so... Oh, what's this? Oh, what the? Hello? Did I did I just ascend? Uh. What? What's going on? Oh, there! I found the eggs. I found multiple eggs. But the thing is, though, is that the adventure was called Omelette. Eggs and Omelette. So what's going to happen to the eggs? Okay, well, we, we found a bunch, so I'm just going to go grab these quickly. I am very concerned. Right. There's some more over there. I don't feel like there's enough here to complete the credits. Some weird bootleg Spyro type adventure, true. Yeah, there's not enough here to finish it. Um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to be here. I think it may have been somewhere else. It can't though, because 
I need tons. Is that like a cave or something somewhere? Oh, there's one more there. And like, what, one, two more? Uh, so, there we go. Okay, two more here. Okay, good, we actually have them all. And now, what do I do next? Um, do I just kill it? Why are they all running to the sides? It's like watching fucking Arc AI. It's straight up like watching Arc AI. I guess I just kill them and hope for the best. No, that didn't do anything. You go back? How? Can I go back? Hello? No! I want to I wanna find out what happens! This music is far too cheery for this. How's this adventure so long? <laughs> this is a trip. Oh, where, where do I go? I think I might just quickly load this up in the editor and uh, see what the next thing is. Because I really, I really want to see how this pans out. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, we, we, may, we might have come here too soon. Okay, let's, let's just rewind. Let's replay. Let's go just talk to them all again then. Alright, so, Maya. Hey fam. Okay, cheers. Right, we're going here then. We're going to talk to all the dead crying women. There we go. We go through again. And we just destroy this quickly. And run through. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so unexpected. Right. And now we go all the way back to the new city. Right, so, all the way back over here then. So we got this guy over here, so we talk to him, we talk to the egg, we collect it, apparently. Now, does this have anything to do with it? No, just a random spice derrick. There doesn't seem to be any buildings I can go into, or like anything really around here. Huh. Oh wait, what's this over here? What are these? Pinksy warriors? What are they doing? What the hell? Where are they going? Oh, I think I might be going to the other the other um, city. Yeah, Captain Tesk. They've gone back to the original. Maybe we're meant to follow them. Hmm. I don't see that sucker again. Let's just try and see what's over here then. Maybe like this might not be the right way, but we'll just see like there are eggs around here. So I wouldn't be surprised they use the same prop and I went to that uh, portal area too soon. Mm, no, I think this is where we came from. Okay. Okay. Let's go edit it. By Mika. Dude. I think it crashed. It did. Oh god, okay, well. <laughs> We're just gonna quickly grab this and... Oh, I'm so glad I get to experience this with you guys. <laughs> no wonder the English is choppy. Yeah, true. It's, it's a great kind of choppy, to be honest. Oh, no. Alright then, so let's find out then. Let's go ahead and we'll find eggs and omelettes. Uh, where is it? Wait, where, there it is. Eggs and omelettes. And we'll just see what happens. Because god, that was a trip. But meanwhile... Cookies! 
Pwede. So, <laughs> I'm still just kind of reeling at the whole, you know, <laughs> what's one of you said, one of you pointed it out? Um, Saga. So the others are saying, you'll be okay, it's not a bad, and then the doctor says they'll die after Egg. I'm still like reeling at that entire scene with like the vomiting females and how that's all they're used for is just shitting out eggs and dying. Oh my life. I'll tell you what actually, while this loads, I'm just gonna very quickly BRB. I will be uh, like one minute, so give me a moment.
Hello! <laughs> yes, Kev wanted to show me a couple of things. I also had to go feed the cats because Oliver was being very annoying. And give me a second, I'm just adjusting my seat! <laughs> Ook. Ah, one sec. The cables everywhere. Pull blanket up because I'm cold. Okay, there we go. Right, I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Well, welcome back as well, Chuck. I just came back, came back too. Right then, so let me just quickly uh, replace this with solar. Now then, let me just find out and see. So it actually was someone I was supposed to find. Who even is this? Where are they? Was I even in the right area? No, they weren't there last time, were they? They weren't there, which is probably why I didn't see it. Oh god, Ale. <laughs> oh, Maeve, are you off? If so, Maeve, take care of yourself. Right then, so we're just gonna go ahead and just skip up to where we were. So we found the egg thieves. No, we found... What was it? Talk to Begu. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's it. So we were actually on the right track by going to that portal. We're in the right area. And yes, that's right. We got um, Valheim in two days. Ale, you messed up? Wait, how did Ale mess up? <gasps> Ale, you did mess up. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this. Ah! God. In fact, let me just do this. So I got all the eggs already. And we'll just go talk to the guy quickly. There we go. <laughs> me too, Loki, me too. So we caught up to where we were before. Now the guy's actually just there to find. So this is the thief. So, ouch, you saw us. Crap, please don't hurt us. We haven't done anything bad. Yes, we took the eggs. But we didn't mean to cause war or anything. You want us to return the eggs? Sorry, we have hiding them all already. But of course, if you want to find them, you'll have to find them. Enter the portal. It takes you to the magical forest. Find the eggs and return here. And then maybe we can help you and find peace between two cities. Oh, hello. Zoom out. <laughs> so they haven't done anything bad, even though they're just like causing like all the entire female race to like just not live. Okay, so, this is what happened before then. I got 10 eggs, but I had to be hundreds of them returned back to the city of Piston. If you want to find them, you have to find them. <laughs> I mean, true words have never been told. <laughs> okay. So does the portal work this time? Yes, it works this time. So that's what we were lacking before then. I uh, didn't see the person. Hello? Why am I here? Oh, there they are. Sammy, welcome back! <laughs> and flame fire, do it! If you want to. So, you found the eggs. Oh, I tried to do my best, but Magical Forest isn't a good place to hide anything. Wait! What? Okay. So, there are still 200 planets. What? There is still 200 planets left. I can tell you some tips. I hired one of the eggs at planet Earth to Paris and at planet Dumia to one of the volcanoes. Now you little bunnies, go and get the eggs back. I don't have time for this. I'll have to go and stop that other captain. Bunnies? Okay, okay. We'll be fast. What? What? Why? 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 Why do they hide them on different planets and in a volcano? And why are they cooperating when they're just saying like, "Oh no, you found them"? Oh no, I'm so confused. Oh, dramatic music. <laughs> Shark man. 
Good outfit, oh, team, by the way. Such a good creation. You, hmm, you, I was hoping you would have just gone... Hold on. You, I was hoping you, you would have just gone. But no, you always have to ruin the plans. Well, you have never ruined mine, but one of you did once. And now some facts. I'm not Captain Desk, and to be honest, I'm not even a captain. I am something much, much worse. I came here to eat the precious eggs of the Pilksies. My race loves them. You'll just have to wash them some... You, you, you'll just have to wash them some salt and ta-da, perfect lunch. But I'm not going to let you stop my dinner. I'm damn hungry. Maybe I should eat you instead. Wait, wait, wait! What did he turn into? Hold on, it's a fucking creeper! What? No! What, what happened? He's a butler, Butler Hagner. A bu Hagner is a butler of Mayor Ganher. Hagner doesn't talk very much, but he seems to have a pretty bad undershot. A pretty, a pretty bad tooth undershot. Everything! He runs off yelling! Monster was actually even worse than monster! What? No! You destroyed my disguise! It took me months to create it, but now I can eat and only that matters. But maybe I shouldn't eat the eggs. What about eating the citizens? Try to stop me, loser! You called the galaxy police for help! You have to keep this thing busy for a moment and don't let it eat the citizens. You can let it kill three citizens, but that's, but that's enough. Alright, I can just tank it. Tanking it seems to work. No, never mind. He did a flip. Yeah, just, just, I'm just gonna block you. That's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, no. Just gonna, just gonna push you away. No. Cool. All right, we're just gonna be doing this for a minute. I'll eat everything, mate. What are you doing? Don't get involved. I've got him. I've got him cornered. Literally, I literally have him cornered. Don't worry, Captain. We can take the creature. Maybe. No, you can't. You're gonna fail at my mission. Stop it. Go away. If he kills you, I lose the mission! Stop! <laughs> Stupid! Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus, he just ran out. Stun him. No, this is more entertaining. I actually can't anyway, I don't have a stun. I got a mind melt, but I might break him. There we go. That didn't work either. Alright then. Polices are here, and the thing can't move. Polices are here. I will have my revenge and believe I will be free soon and then you'll hope. What? And then you'll hope? Hope for what? If I walk away, does there any more dialogue? Hey, more dialogue? No, okay. Oh shit, it just did. Oh well. Never mind. Sir, I'm Agent <laughs> It's Agent Ook! <laughs> no! Ook. <laughs> Kev! Oh my god! Sir? I'm Agent Ook. Nice to meet you. Good thing you called us. These things are really annoying. Yes, there is more of them. These monsters eat anything, and they're not actually even fully intelligent, but they can talk and somehow use even ships. Even disguise. Creepy. This is the second case about the Leviathans today. Earlier there was Leviathans that tried to swallow Kalasung. It was horrible. But we can take the case now. Call us if you guys see these guys moving somewhere. Goodbye. Hey, something's happening at the plaza. Okay. 
I don't want I don't want that one. It looks just like my neighbour. I'm muted. No, I'm not. Um, I don't want that one. It looks just like my mate. Hey, I'm the mayor and I had the right to choose mine. What? Sorry, kid. That's my baby. Uh, I want that. <laughs> okay. Hi, Captain. Sorry for this mess, but look, those weird looking rabbits have brought our rabbits, uh, brought our babies back, and they're no longer inside the eggs, too. That's kind of how eggs work. Thank God you were able to defeat that thing. I got no idea what it was, but it was it sure was hungry and dangerous. Ando, oh, happy Easter to you. I'm going to celebrate it to my home. And yes, you get our money. By the way, do you know why I'm Mayor Do you know why Mayor Piston sent me money and asked me to give them to you? Wait, I thought you were the mayor. Wait, what? Okay. Happy Easter, Captain. And did you find all the Easter eggs in the adventure? You should try if you have time. Ah. That was great. That was great. That was my favourite one. Find me, creature. Oh, what's this, actually? I, thought, I didn't see this. There's a couple of- what the hell? What the hell? Why? What do you do? They don't- Oh, excellent, you found an easter egg guy. Conga. What? Excellent, you found an easter egg guy. Conga. That makes sense. That makes sense. <sighs> that was good. I like that one. Um. <laughs> Let's. Okay. Next one. I wasn't sure whether to go fight the hybrid. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. I wasn't sure whether to like end it there, on a good note, or try find more of Mika's adventures from that time era. But I figured, nah, let's just carry on. <laughs> Hydrate's a very good idea. Thank you. You received a message from Three Spuffets, who runs the Universe News Show. Apparently, he needs help in one of the Axila colonies, and their own captain is an inca incapable idiot. Okay. Mm. I did need that, thank you. And their only captain's an incapable idiot. Alright. <sighs> that was good. That was a trip. The bad English just made it so much better. It really did. Uh, meanwhile, just check I've got a ping on Discord to see what that's about. Right, just a new thing. You don't have brain cells anymore. Good, the same. Oh, okay. Well, while we're waiting for that, click. I have twenty-four nonillion cookies. When I saw the name Eggs and Omelettes, I was so excited for it. That was way better than I was expecting. Me too! I thought it would just be derp. You know, oh god, another great one. I thought it would just be derp. Not whatever that was. That was that was special and unique. It was fancy and foreign. It was very fancy and foreign. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just got to click, friends. You bear with me. I need to click rapidly. <laughs> And... done. 
Oh, whoops. Turn that off. There we go. And we loaded. For some reason, you were not allowed to beam down in the city of Unzia. 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 So you must get through the city gates. No, you must get Troll. Troll. Troth. The city gate. I must, I must get Troth the city gates. Three Spoffit is located somewhere on this planet. The city, Unzia, would be a good start to find him. Talk to Officer Clanton. Okay. And yes, also, also clicker. I already have RSI, I'm not going to make it any worse. <laughs> Here is Officer Clanton, who looks kind of cool, actually. Greetings, sir. I am Officer Clanton, officer of the Axilar Empire and the gatekeeper of Unzia. Who are you? Ah, a captain, you say? Let's see. Sorry, no captain visit scheduled for today, except for our, for our own captain. Yes, even captains can't freely enter and leave our cities anymore. Our leaders, our leaders have increased the security due to the due to all the mysterious. Oh God, sorry, my brain's all over the place. Our leaders have increased security due to all the mysterious invasions all across the galaxy. Three Spoffit summoned you. Sorry, unless you can prove that, I can't let you in. Besides, Three Spoffit, Three Spoffit isn't in the city right now. You should be at this radio station. Follow the path there, and it will take you there. You mean the path I just came from? That that is the path I just came from, right? Okay. That egg adventure scrambled your brain, Draki. <sighs> yes, yes, it really. Fuck. Huh? Sandox ready to grow this large. Anyway, this planet has sandzocks. So careful not to anger them, they have a nasty bite. Okay. Not like I'd ever really tried to touch it. <laughs> You're welcome, Loki. <laughs> You're welcome, Saga. <laughs> Alright, what do we have over here then? Got a tribal c cone mad. A tribal cone mad. Some crazy tribals. It looks like a fucking troll from World of Warcraft. What the hell? At least from this angle, it kind of does. Like, I've seen I've seen uh, masks like that in WoW. Like a rogue or a shaman. That's weird. I don't like it. Go away. Well. Here's the, the thing. Nick, 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 crack. Nick, Nick, crack. Nick, Nick. What is wrong with these axolars? Their eyes are different and they seem very aggressive. You, open us, the door. They seem to want to get inside this building. Is this why the three spotted contacted you? No. Crack, crack, you won't open the door, crack. Nick, 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 you die now, crack. Rude. How about I just, uh, uh, maybe I should kill them, maybe I have to. Sorry fam, goodbye. Bam, ba -dum. Bam, ba -da -ba -da -bam, bam. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Uh, let's go see Zeg. He's the mayor of the. Uh, he's the mayor of Uncia. He's cool, and he'll listen to us. Hear what Three Spotted has to say, and head for the city. The officer should let you through now. Let you let you trough now. There's no H. Trough. I'm just a pile of corpses below him. Three Three Spotted is here. Bah. <laughs> Hey, thanks a bunch, Captain. Something was seriously wrong with those fellas. Used to work for me, they did. They went out for their break when I heard this big boom. My building's programmed to enter security mode if an explosion happens nearby. That's convenient. I guess that little ship there was the reason of the boom, for the boom, and it must have turned my friends crazy. They started killing each other and tried to enter the building. There could be more of them. This could be an invasion. The ship somehow disabled my communications. I only had time to contact the nearest, ca the nearest captain. You. So, your ship went to lock. Uh, your building went to lock lockdown due to proximity explosions, and yet it's still knocked out your communications. That's a design flaw. More like impossible. Let's get to Unzia. I'll help you get past that gate. We must warn everyone there. 
Okay. Well, let's just, uh, let's just run past, I guess. Whee! I'm glad that, <laughs> I'm glad that you guys agreed I look like a wild troll. It was kind of uncanny. I don't like that thing. That's unnecessary. <laughs> right, and we should be good to unstealth. Right, this is not where we're meant to go. Hey, hey, can I can I have can I have the key? Can I have the key? Oh, we're posing. Okay. What's, what's going on here? Oh gee, I just flashed him. <laughs> that is not the kind of laugh you do while flashing people. Can I have the key now, please? Can I, can I have the key? 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 Can I, can I have the key? No? Okay, never mind. I mean, I'm sorry, man. He, he was there. He was in range of my flash. Wait, Loki. Hold on. What? Hold on. I need to see this. is art I mean okay <laughs> so where am I supposed to go then because the officer wasn't around there the officer should let you through now wait he didn't though let's try that again sorry I'm not reading properly my, my brain is still scrambled <laughs> was it an in-game screenshot was it actually Oh, I didn't even see that! Oh my god. Wow. Okay, fam, can I get can I pause please? No. Okay, maybe it's an interaction between these two. Wait, there we go. Okay, I was just being impatient. Doesn't Face Buffett live somewhere around here? Says weird tentacle dude. Who's like molesting the little tentacle crocodile? Okay then. My cousin went on a trip to another galaxy to um, purchase all kinds of new music. You wouldn't believe what they would listen to out there. Sus. So I gotta find Zeg. Of whom is this guy here? <laughs> Loki, same. Hello there, you look like a captain. Welcome to Uznia. I am Zeg, the mayor. How may I help you? Hey, Three Spuffet, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in a long time. You're always locked up in that Universe News Center. Wait, did I hear you right? You think our planet has been invaded? Oh, Spode, oh, Spode, this can't be happening. Wait, let me call someone. Um, uh, nobody's answering in Gudelia, the other colony on this planet. Captain, you should head in Gudelia and see what has happened. Maybe you should get Scosh to come with you. He could be helpful. I'll make sure we are ready to execute or fight back. I hear someone brave. I hear someone brave destroyed all the spooky skeletons and saved everyone. What? Spooky skeletons? I'm kind of in a hurry. Then why did you stop to tell me that? <laughs> See ya. Oh, did that guy just say pain? You've got to be kidding me. There's a lot of like, very unhappy people all around here, aren't there? Did he just moonwalk? What are you doing? Alright then, that's just normal. Just moonwalk off the building and back on again. At least he looks cool. Hey, 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 it is me, Skosh, the best captain of the whole Axelar Empire. Woo-ha! Hey, I know you. You're that, um, yes, the captain I've heard about. I can't remember your name, though. Hmm, what? You want my help with the problem? Eh, don't know about that. See, I just come from the, uh, evil star system where I killed the evil dictator. Um, killer bad guy. What? 
So you see, I'm pretty tired and stuff. Got a lot of paperwork to do. Hmm. Sorry. Doesn't seem like I can help you. But hey, good luck with whatever it is that you're doing. I love him. I love him. Okay then. And Tom, thank you for the follow. And welcome. Right. Hey Captain, Clanton here. I've heard of your mission from Zeg. He told me to help you any way I can. Come meet me at the Universe News Centre. Can I go all the way back? Frozen! Hello! Gotta admit, the Axolots make the best music in this galaxy. <gasps> Look at it! It's adorable! I love it! What the hell? I wasn't prepared for this. Is it I can I have one? Weird little freaky hentai friend. I like little time hentai. Right, well then. Let's leave. If I can remember where the exit is. Over here. Definitely a roundabout direction. Slug baby. I like slug baby. <gasps> Get frozen. That's fantastic to hear. And doctors, welcome, man. What have you missed so far? Oof. You've missed a lot of weirdness. Um, let's just say I've, we found some very interesting adventures today. Some very weird and wacky things. It's been fun, though. It's been good fun. But yes, welcome, nonetheless. <laughs> Saga, I'm sorry that I ruined it for you. Right, oh, there he is. Hey, Captain. Once I heard that Gudeli had gone dark, I decided to check the transport system between our cities. It seems that the truck is inactive from the other end. I can activate it to bring you there quickly, but you have to walk back. Which is dangerous, with all the tribals around. I wonder if they have anything to do with this. Oh well. Even this teleporter- uh, Enter this teleporter to get on the transporter. Once you're on the top of it, click on- click it to signal me and I'll activate it. <laughs> Make sure you're on top of it when I activate it. Once I send it going, it can't be called back. Ale? Yes. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're- oh, we want to stand on this then. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just getting attacked over there, sure. Fair enough. This is the teleporter. Axelaz uses these to safely travel long distances that their teleporters can't handle. You better be on top of it right now. Activating transporter. <laughs> See ya! Oh, this is cute, I like this. You know, just, just drifting, just, just chilling, traveling. We cool, G, we cool, we cool. Oh, Draki, I just saw what you linked to me, thank you. Ooh, thank you very much for the uh, music. Oh, broken vehicle, okay then. Right there, what do we have around here then? <laughs> Nick knack. What is this? Some kind of little spaceship. It's a little spaceship, what the hell are these? Hecky. <laughs> What an odd little creature. Beep boop. Scanning it reveals that it is a dweller it is a dweller worm. Those little spaceships must be capsules which bring things which brings these things here. It seems to be dwellisk technology. Dwellisks are one of the most are one of the more dangerous species in the galaxy. Better be careful. Ow! Rude. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. There we go. Sammy. Hold on. Someone has built our eggs. And I'm not talking about Mr. 
eggs. No, I am eat our eggs that have an baby inside. And you say it's nothing special. Just do more. and I hurt. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm done. <laughs> oh my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again. Someone has built our eggs. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Mr. Eggs. No, I am eat our eggs that have a baby inside, and you say it's nothing special. Just do more. <laughs> Be sharing that. I, I just knew it was gonna be like before I even watched it, I just knew it was gonna be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the thing is, Risa, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, so laughing like this is making it hurt more. Oh dear, do I even want to finish this adventure? I'm a little bit lightheaded. <laughs> I think that truly must be one of the best adventures I've ever played. Not in terms of quality, just in terms of spirit. <laughs> Definitely not in terms of quality, but in spirit. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I, um... I want to go get dinner. <laughs> right. <clears throat> shall we finish this or shall I get dinner? That's the big question. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yes, I almost died of laughter. Welcome back, by the way, everyone who left. Ah, uh, let's see. This, this has so far been a fairly linear adventure. Um, I might just finish it quickly. It becomes like a big combat scene, I'm just gonna fucking yeet out. This has been great already. To be fair, I do agree with that. I think it would just be good to end on a positive note. I feel like I'm kind of- I'm probably forcing this adventure a bit too much. Uh, what's it called? The Hybrid. Let me write this down. So I can give it another go later. Because I'm definitely forcing it and I don't want to. So, Hybrid... Adventure. I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> Um, who's this by? Just so I know for the future. No, I completely agree, Ductus. I completely agree. Um, it's by, it's by someone called Mika. Now, the issue is some is that Mika's got like 7,000 adventures. So it's going to be hard to find it. But I will try. I'll do what I can. Hold on. Uh, while it's loading. Let's see. Bye. Mika 64. That didn't work, hold on. That didn't work either. And that's what I oh, it's got two eyes. Two eyes and two Ks. Oh my god. Oh, that's not what I wanted to click on. 14,000 creations, god damn. Okay, so on a search, so it's just good to search for eggs and omelette. I think. That'll work, hopefully. Adventures, creation name. 
and let's see if I can get it for you. So I recognise the thumbnail. The thumbnail is like very eye catching. What the hell is this? It gives me really goofy Spyro vibes. I kind of want to see what it's about. Um, it's not there. Okay. Message me on Discord and remind me to look for it afterwards. Now, who was this adventure by the hybrids? By Benjamin. Okay. Another finish one. Let's see. You don't have to if you don't want. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. And yeah, exactly. It crashed anyway. Yeah, this is why I want you to voice act on me. It would just be amazing. Right, it's fine. I will figure it out later. I am. Um, I'm. What's the word? Burnt out? But burnt out in a good way. I'm burnt out in a good way. Chuck found it. Pog. Posting community feedback and somebody can find it. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> this has been a treat. You missed it? Wait, what did I miss? Famished? I'm famished as well. Yeah, that's true. What did I miss, Kev? What happened? I'm scared. Let's get another, another click. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. By the side. I've got another click frenzy. What the fuck? That's three in a row. Holy shit. That's amazing. Anyway, right. We need to, to make a custom Splopedia system if, it isn't, if that isn't a thing. Um, well, actually, that's a point. So I've always, um, since you mentioned that thought, I've always imagined to myself that if it ever did hit a point where the Splopedia servers went down, I would actually um, make my own one on Discord. I feel like it'd be the right thing to do. But, yeah, so... Maybe I can do that one day, actually. Should I do it in advance? I don't know. Oh, whatever. Who cares? It's a different topic. That's finished. The bus gone. Right. I'm heading off to dinner. I nearly said bed. I'm going to go get, 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 get some dinner. I am out of it. It has been a fantastic stream. It has been lovely. It's been hilarious. I have lost it. It's been wonderful. Thank you all so very much. I... Will probably be here tomorrow. I'm not gonna promise it, but I probably will be. I, I will aim to be, of course. So, if uh, if any new people, we've got Discord, we've got Twitter. I'll be on Discord shortly once I've had my dinner. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Cheers and goodbye. <laughs>